See, I don't really know. Oh no, don't, 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 don't. <gasps> Get away from me. Oh! Fucking don't you dare knock me in there. I gotta teleport. Oh. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck! Alright, alright, alright. Just calm. Fucking hell, I just lost my champ. That is. Fucking, that's it. Fuck, okay, fine, take me on. And see, the thing is, look, I damaged Melina quite a bit there, or now that she's transformed into me, noob smoke. You'll see that... What the fuck? Fight. How the hell did she get all her health back? What is this? Okay, I have, to, I have to win this fight. Basically, the health should carry over between fights. Goodness. Look at this AI fucking ducking bullshit. Fucking throne! Take it! Take it! Take the throne! <clears throat> Get out! Fucking there you go. In a matter of seconds. Oh, okay. You want that green plate, don't you? You're not getting it. Come on, Night Wolf, you can do it. Oh, fucking God damn it! You know what? We're just gonna keep things simple here. What the hell's going on? Why am I losing? Fucking hell. This is embarrassing. <sighs> See, it's really hard to just play as different characters in this game, you know. For my playthrough, I played as Noob Smoke here, and I mastered him before doing that playthrough, you know what I mean? I knew all their combos. And Raiden, I sort of know some of his combos, but it's just really hard to remember multiple characters at a time. You know, it's not like the old school Mortal Kombat games where everyone's got a high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick. It's fucking taxing to learn multiple characters at once. So that's why you're going to see me here going into the moves list a fair bit. Mainly just for the combos. I know how to do all their special moves. Uh, Liu Kang. Go. Fuck! <clears throat> Alright. What? I'm, I'm really trying not to get angry at this. It's... Fucking hell. Out of all fucking character, Okay, get in the Deadpool. This is the only way. Oh. Calm. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm. It's okay. Oh, now I'm fucking mad. You know what? Fuck this. Exchange my Raiden. I'm gonna do exactly what I fucking said. I'm ending this now. Fucking get over there. We're gonna kill Tanya. Yeah, of course. Try and take on my leader, you fucking asshole. I'm Noob Smoke. You've got nothing. I'm a master of this fucking character. Show me what you've got. Come on. Fight. Do it. Fucking use those bre use those breakers. Use them. Do it. Why aren't I getting fucking? There we go. Oh. That. Fucking God. You're not gonna win. That's for fucking sure. Oh my goodness, there is a possibility I could fucking die here. Oh, good! I was so angry that whole fight. It's unacceptable for me to lose one versus battle in chess combat. I'm disgusted that I lost there. But, in all fairness, I mean, I had to play as Sindel, which is a character I have not once touched in this game. Fuck. And that... Whatever. Fucking knocked me into the acid pool. Fucking bitch. Wow, this could be the easiest fight ever. Oh no. Ow, what the hell? Do a fucking... 
okay. Fuck! God, this fuck, fuck is going on here? Why am I losing? That, look at that! Every time I do a fucking combo, they just sidestep it. Look at this! <laughs> How did I? What? Why? I don't want to play this anymore. This is the worst I have ever played in chess combat, guys. The worst. This is fucking embarrassing. Look at this. Now I can't just teleport over there. I've got to go f Oh my god. Fuck off, Sindel. Fuck off. I don't know why, I just wanted to. I've lost two battles, and I lost with Raiden, but... Man, Tanya was... She was sidestepping everything. I've never seen... I've never seen the AI go that insane with the sidestep move. It was fucking unbelievable. Every combo I started, you know... She just fucking sidestepped. I couldn't believe it. Okay, that's better. Look at that. All I needed was one fucking combo, and that's all I was trying to do for the whole fight against Tanya, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course you're gonna try and kill Raiden, whatever. You're just a weak grunt with only 40% health. Fuck off. I hate Sindel. Fucking hate her. Orangangi! What the fuck? Mm. Just take it. One hit, there you go. Oh no. Don't fucking. There we go. <laughs> By the way, I didn't do that fatality. Whenever you kill the leader, you're, you're, you know, you do a fatality automatically. And for some reason, Raiden kills himself there. I don't know why. Anyway, there you go. Look at that. I won eight matches. Uh, four spells cast. Didn't fall on any traps. Total moves 11, 14 pieces left. Now normally, if you don't lose a single versus match in chess combat, it'll say flawless victory. And that's what I was trying to go for here, but fucking whatever, you know. Anyway, that's it guys for chess combat. Um, it's actually quite a lot of fun to play. You know, pick whatever team you want. Choose your characters for the different pieces, you know, champions. Sorcerers, Shifters and Grunts, and your leader, of course. The Sorcerers, you won't really be moving around too much, so... You know, I think your champion piece would probably be the one you're going to be doing the most killing with, so... Pick a character you're really good with for your champion pieces. And then, same for your Grunts, I guess, they tend to... Because, I mean, you've got eight of them, you know what I mean? You're going to be fighting with them quite a lot. Shifters are such a fucking... You know, I don't understand why they transform into... Your opponent's character. You know, unless you fight another shifter, then... Both shifters stay who they are, but... You know, if you fight your opponent's grunt, for example, with a shifter, you transform into that grunt. Why? It's such a fucking weird... I don't know, I don't really like the shifters. I don't think I don't think it was necessary. They could have come up with something different. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's chess combat. It's a lot of fun to play. I played like shit for that playthrough. I'm fucking disgusted with it. But hopefully, I've explained the ins and outs of chess combat so that you guys can jump straight into it. It is fun, you know. It is a lot of fun. If you win, that is, you know, then it's fun, of course. <laughs> I'm blaming Sindel that whole game. Fuck Sindel. 
So that's it guys, so thanks for watching my chess combat playthrough, I'm out. Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and today as you can see, I'm playing more Mortal Kombat Deception, this time Conquest Mode. Now Conquest Mode of Mortal Kombat Deception is without a doubt the most requested thing that I play. The amount of requests I get to play this is out of control. Ah, Shuchinko, you have arrived. Let us begin. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the start of conquest mode, and the first thing we need to do is train with this miserable fuck, Bowrai Cho. Look at him. You have a long way to go, but every step is a victory. Ugh, even hearing him speak just makes me sick. How you maneuver in combat plays as much a part of your strategy as how you punch or kick. Ugh. Why does he have to accentuate every word? Just fucking speak like a normal person. God, get used to it because we're going to be speaking to this guy a hell of a lot. Now I just want to quickly do something here. See that red coin there? Watch. Look at that, fucking Ermac. Look at him. And he just disappears. That's going to happen a hell of a lot in this game, trust me. You'll just see lots of weird shit playing through conquest mode. Yep, so that's basically what we need to do here. We need to follow Apep and he's going to take us from dojo to dojo where we will train with Master Bo Raicho, that absolute fucking mess of a human being. Please excuse me, but I have to go put my money in a safe place. Well, excuse me, but I want that money. Punch her, and you will get a key. Now, this key is the key to her house, which is right here. So, let's go inside. And as you can see, lots of coins to collect. So, that side mission is now complete. Holy shit, did we just kill her? She's not getting back up. Normally, if you just punch someone out, they get straight back up. Well, this isn't a good start, is it, Shujinka? You've just killed an innocent old lady. How do you feel about that? You don't give a shit, do you? It stopped raining. Look at this. I love how everyone's just walking over this dead woman's body. Like, no one seems to care. There's no rules in this place. There's no laws. This guy's obviously a guard, he doesn't care. I mean, I can punch him out and... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, the guards are smart, they block and then punch you. But I mean, if you punch civilians, like this guy... Fucking get over here. Where's a civilian? Oh, everyone's going to bed. It's 10 o'clock at night. Okay, never mind. It's funny, you can just go in anyone's home and just rob them. Take their money. Shujinko is very bad. Definitely not a Earthrealm warrior if you ask me. First he punched an old lady out and killed her. Now he's going inside everyone's home and just robbing them. I just can't escape from this guy, can I? Bo Rai Cho, he's everywhere. Sneaking into my subconscious. Now, you'll note here there's a guard standing at the bridge. Watch what happens when I approach him. Move along. This bridge is off limits. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that was quite excessive. I mean, saying move along was enough, don't you think? There was no need to fucking punch me like that. That was completely and totally unnecessary. I wonder if he does it again. Let's see. You shall not pass. Yeah, he just keeps fucking punching me. All right, I get the point. I cannot go across. Me, my parents will kill me if someone uses my key to rob our house. <laughs> Playing Mortal Kombat earlier. Come on, what the hell? That is just fucking ridiculous. Find the lost key somewhere in the park. 
Okay, so we'll go back to the park. And the key is right there. Let's have a look at it. Key. Key found in the park. It's very vague. Yeah. Now, it's quite funny because I actually went into this house before even getting the key. How? You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't locked. I went straight in there. So this guy is just fucking a dumbass. Like, his door was already open and he's telling me he needs the key to get in. Yet, I already went in there before when it was dark. Now have a look at this over here, question mark. I'm gonna get it and just show you guys what happens. <laughs> the first time I got it, I thought that I died. You know what I mean? But you just sort of become unconscious. I mean, let's have a talk to Apep. You'll see. Shujinko, you are awake. I was worried about you. Do you realize you were out cold for two days? From now on, you should be careful not to pick up everything you see, okay? Okay. So the question marks, I believe, are either good or bad, but... I mean... Pfft, I don't know. I always collect everything, every question mark, but to be honest, I don't really see many of them. Earthrealm Village here is basically the only time I've actually seen the question marks. And trust me, there haven't been very many. You found it! How did you... Never mind. I do not want to know. Here is the reward I promised you. It is all the money I have left. 400 Platinum Coins. Awesome. Now it's quite funny. If you go inside his house and speak to his wife, you get some pretty funny dialogue from her. Just have a listen to it. My husband told me he fought many men to get his wedding ring back. He is so <laughs> brave. Now I know why I married him. Uh, he was full of shit. Liar. Yeah, I think that's just a regular Lin Kuei warrior because we do meet Sub-Zero later on in the game. And you know how he looks in this game. He's got that shredder outfit on, which is just bullshit. But at least it's more acceptable than that horrendous alternate outfit which you saw me rage about in my playthrough of Mortal Kombat Deception Arcade mode and there he is this creep this peeping Tom will come in front of her house and just look in the window while she's undressing look at him what a fucking mess talk to him first if you want you should see this. At 2 a.m. every night, the woman in this house undresses in front of this window. I think she is undressing in front of the window on purpose. <laughs> Alright, so all you gotta do is punch him out like that, and you will get 400 Onyx coins. And I wanna go into here, this auction house, and collect the coin. Talk to this guy. The coin in this auction is mine. I found it on a quest many years ago. It is said to be a magical item. <laughs> I wonder if it was that coin I just collected that I just stole. <laughs> Pretty easy, just hold down the R2 button. Old Barai Cho swings at you like that. Look at him. Ah, very good. Absolutely unacceptable. Get some ham from the butcher to bribe the guard. This is probably the most random thing in the game, like, why ham? Why not just give him money? <laughs> I don't know, would you prefer money or ham? Like, a hundred dollars or ham? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Anyway, you talk to this butcher, he'll give you the ham. You're right. The guard at the bridge must be hungry. Please take this ham to him. <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> Look at the ham. A tender slab of ham, loved by guards in Earthrealm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Why ham? Out of everything they could think of in order to bribe this guard with, they come up with ham. Why ham? I don't get it. It just doesn't fucking make any sense. It's so stupid. Ham. I love ham. Thank you very much. Anyway, you give him the ham and the guard walks away, and now we go back to Apep. 
Let us go to the next lesson. Let us go. Well, I gave him ham. That's why he got out of the way. A stray dog? Uh, yes, I, I found a stray dog. I am sorry, but I did not realize that he was a pet. I had the butcher cut him up for my dinner. I feel <laughs> awful. Here, take this. It is all that is left of him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Dog meat. <sighs> anyway, you have to go back to that lady and give her what's left of her dog. This isn't going to be good. She's going to scream. Here we go. Any news about my dog? This is my dog? Oh yep. no! Nico! How could they do this to you? I promised a reward for whoever returned my dog to me. Take this money, young man. I thank you for your efforts. Oh well, I guess it is not a total loss. Will you join me later for some Nico stew? <laughs> She seemed to get over that loss very quickly. Join me for some Nico stew. No thanks. <laughs> I love how you can just run into people. They don't care. No one may pass this gate. Oh yeah? Look, I just passed it. There isn't even a gate. What the hell are you guarding? What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. Oh fuck, is that that creep? It is. He's gonna go look in her window again. Fuck you. No you're not. You just don't learn, do ya? I love how when you go inside the houses, there's just uh, a table with a couple of chairs. Like, is that all they have? No other furniture? No kitchen? No... I mean, look at this. This whole house, it's just got a wooden table and a chair. What, do you, what would you do if you came into this house? What is there to do? Look at it. There's absolutely nothing here. All you can do is just sit in this chair and stare at the fucking wall. So when someone asks you how were your days off, you can just say I did nothing. And they say, oh that's bullshit, you must have done something. And then you can say, no, I literally sat at my desk in a chair and stared at the wall. That really is nothing. I think that's a quote from Seinfeld as well. Look at him. Look at that fucking mess. Bo Rai Cho, you horrible creature. Fight. What other combos have we got? Look at that shit. Fucking hell, how can you remember all that? <laughs> what a throw. Oh no, he's got out this he's got his walking stick out, he's dangerous. Look at him. Die! Okay, just Just relax. It's okay. There we go. Look at all the blood. It's like I just killed Bo Raicho. Now, something really bothers me here, okay? You can see at the moment we're standing at location A6. Now, according to a guide, it says that there is a chest here. Pretty much right here, containing Kenshi's alternate costume. I have played through Earthrealm here, no joke, like six to seven times prior to doing this run through and I could not fucking find it. It is just not here. I do not know where it is. Kenshi's alternate costume chest is a complete mystery. I have no idea where it is. I've tried looking, you know, through all the crevices here, like this is A5 technically, but it's still close to A6. I've gone... If you run along this fence here and take a right, I mean we're at B6 now, but if we go behind these houses, see it's A6 here, the chest is nowhere to be found. I don't know. Unless it comes out only at a certain time, but the guy didn't specify that, so that's bullshit. Forget it. 
250 gold coins. And if you have a look at it, oh, I've still got the sack of flour. <laughs> I must have forgotten to complete that quest in the Earthrealm village. Oh well, whatever. There she is. Yeah, she just wanders around here. Talk to her. A lodestone. They are magnetic and always point north. I could easily find my way back home with that. May I buy it from you, sir? Would 50 jade coins be enough? 50 jade coins, come on. That's atrocious. It should be in the hundreds. What a fucking joke. That's not even worth doing that side mission. And we will complete it. Well, it certainly took you long enough to retrieve the Kira root for me. In any case, you did retrieve it, so I thank you. Take these coins as payment for your trouble. What the fuck? Did you hear what he said? It certainly took you long enough to find it. What a joke! It took me like a minute. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Fucking take that. Now you're sick, you old bastard. Fuck off. Some of these people in these realms are just totally ungrateful for the shit you do for them, you know what I mean? Makes me sick. I'm going to talk to this guy. Sir, perhaps this is not the best place for idle chatter. Okay, I get it. You're monks in a temple, I understand you're all meditating. So, what does a young Shujinko do? He steals from the temple, of course. 75 blue coins. You play as that character. So we have to learn Borai Cho here. Sub-Zero's alternate bio. Who gives a fuck? That was his disgraceful alternate costume as well. Okay, let me just see if I can loot any more coins in the area before I go ahead and start learning how to play as Borai Cho. I don't really want to do this. I fucking hate this guy, you know. You all know how I feel about Borai Cho, but this is unavoidable. It has to happen, so... I'm gonna bite my tongue and do it. Greetings, Shujinko. It is good to see you again. As promised, I will now impart to you my most powerful techniques. I am honored, <laughs> Master Borai Cho. I train my most promising students here at my home, away from prying eyes, to assure that my secrets are known only to those I trust. Now, let us begin your training. Fuck. Okay, here we go. So the game is now going to teach us how to play as Borai Cho. There he is. Borai Cho. Borai Cho. We're going to go through all his fighting styles, we'll learn his special moves, and by the end of this training session, if that's what you want to call it, we will become a master of Borai Cho. Well, I can tell you, I'm pretty much going to forget how to play as this guy. I will remember key combos, because, like I said, from this point on, every time I get into a fight, I'm going to have to play as Borai Cho for that fight, until I meet the next character. And then I go through, you know, learning how to play as them, which is actually Sub-Zero after this, so... Let's try and make our play with Borai Cho as short as possible. Okay, your next lessons will encompass sumo high attacks. Fucking hell, what a style. Sumo. Pathetic. Okay, now Shujinko, you will begin your training with drunken fist high attacks. Look at him! He can't even fucking stand still! Look, it's not really a problem, but trying to control him like this, it's it's a bit awkward. Like, when you tap forward, there's a bit of a delay. Like, he'll walk forward and then stop for a second. See how he stops and then he keeps walking? And it's the same when you press back. I, I absolutely detest this fighting style. I detest Bo Rai Cho. I detest everything he stands for. He's an absolute fucking atrocity. Look at him! The next lessons will teach you Drunken Fist low attacks. Oh, let's end this, come on, do it. God, just walk there, you fucking piece of shit. There we go. Garbage. 
Good, now try this style branching combo. Ugh. Garbage. There's just not enough hits. I hate all of Bo Raicho's special moves. They're just... I don't even know how to describe them. Impressive, let us move to another special move. Oh no, this is the worst. Look at that, that is fucking disgusting. He can just bath on Q. Who can do that? Fuck, at least, you know, look at the bottle on his back. Throw the fucking wine on the ground or something. Barfing, it's disgusting. Puke puddle. Yeah. Disgusting. It's got pretty decent reach as well. See? That's all I do, I just fucking spam it. Because I'm just not interested in learning anything else with this character. Plenty of side missions. Oh, look at this. This is something that really bothers me, okay? Look, look at how much room there is. You're telling me I can't fucking run through that? Look at it. Look at that. The physics sometimes in conquest mode are highly questionable. What's stopping me? Is there a fucking weed on the ground? And Shujinko can't step over it? He's just trained for five years with Master Burai Cho and he's fucking getting stopped by a weed on the ground. Look at this! What a joke. No chance he'll be representing Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat if he can't even step on a fucking weed. Okay, so let's collect all these loose coins. Yeah, like, look at this! Come on! You know, it tends to make navigating through these tree stumps very annoying. You need to sort of learn where you can and can't go. It just takes practice. Look at this. Defeat Sindel while starting with 50% health and you're bleeding to death. So you only start with half your health and to top it off, you're losing health as well. How can you do that? You have to kill her very quickly and you can't get hit at all, basically. Okay, that's it. It's over. I got hit. You know what I mean? See? It's a okay, I'm in drunken... Look at this! You know, some of these fight challenges are just very, very unforgiving. I'll give it two more tries, and if I can't do it, then I don't give a shit. Ooh. Nah, that's it, I'm dead. That's it, yep. <laughs> Look how quick that was! Oh man, you know, so that was, that actually wasn't too bad, but my goodness, you wait until we get to Nether Realm and we meet Shang Tsung. <sighs> Talk about unacceptable, that is just, words are not enough in describing that fighting challenge, you have no idea, no fucking idea whatsoever. That'll be a surprise. Remember, just very lightly hold the analog stick up to walk. And when you get behind him, press X. Oh, my heart! <laughs> oh dear. Shujinko, what have you done? You have once again killed another innocent person. This isn't looking good. Let's see what his nephew has to say. Leave me be, murderer! <laughs> well, you told me to do this, you idiot. This was your idea. If anyone's the murderer, it's you. Fuck. Can we revive him? Can I press X? Nothing. He's dead. That's it. Like, look at him. There's no repercussions whatsoever. Like, Shujinko can just kill anyone he wants. Look, he can just punch anyone he wants. He can do whatever he wants. And nothing happens. You know, he could probably just, like, pick up this barrel here, throw it in the fire, and then throw it onto all these huts and just set all the huts alight. 
and run off and nothing will happen. You know, he'll still be considered an Earthrealm warrior needed to represent Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat. Okay, so he just runs off. He doesn't give you a reward. <laughs> look, at, look at the way he runs. Look at him. <laughs> uh, I'd follow him, but all it needs now is just some Benny Hill music <laughs> to complete that picture. Oh, look at that! Come on, look at how much room... What is stopping him? Tell me. Tell me. The ground is flat. Look at this. I remember once I went all the way inside the middle of those tree stumps and it took me no joke, like fucking 10 minutes to get out because I just didn't know where I could and couldn't run. You know, I kept getting stopped like this. It was absolutely infuriating. Alright, let's try... Oh my god, and of course. <laughs> look, look at this. I can run past it running over the edge of this tree stump here, look, on the ground, but I can't pass through open ground, flat grass. What a joke. Okay, I can't go that way. <sighs> the physics blow my mind. I'm not even going to run in the middle of those tree stumps. There's probably a chest or a coin hidden in there somewhere, but I'm not dealing with it. Okay, let's go ahead and loot this temple. <laughs> it just kills me, you know. He had a conversation with Master Shen and Wen the Elder about wanting to join the White Lotus Society. You'd think a prerequisite for joining the White Lotus Society is to have morals, to be a good human being. But Shujinko is a fucking disgrace. Robbing temples killing innocent people his soul is already tainted he's corrupt and actually that's interesting because in the next realm the nether realm <laughs> it's funny because you can't actually enter that realm unless your soul has a stain of corruption on it and you have to actually do something to get that stain of corruption but in my eyes Shujinko already has that stain of corruption don't you agree? Uh, anyway, let's talk to this guy. He'll give us a side mission. Fuck, can I have that submachine gun you've got there? Look at that thing. That would be nice to carry one of those around. Unfortunately, you can't get that gun. I'm not even going to dare try and punch this guy because... I don't know, I'm afraid he'll shoot me. Probably nothing will happen, but... I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Looks like he's got heaps of grenades on his belt as well. Or is that just ammo clips? Probably just ammo. Must be glitching. Who the fuck knows? Oh no, look at this. Come on. God, it must be that strong weed that Shujinko can't step over. You know... God forbid the weed. That should be his opponent. You know, if he fights in the Mortal Kombat tournament against Outworld, fuck, put him up against the weed. That's it. The whole of Earthrealm is lost to a fucking weed. Forget about, you know, combatants like Scorpion and whatever. Reptile. Just put Shujinko against a weed and he is toast. If only Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn knew of his weakness. Alright, and at 7pm Ken, oh sorry, not Ken from Street Fighter, Cobra will walk out of this hut and stand on the beach with his arms folded and he is another fight challenge. So since we're close to 7pm we might as well wait for him to come out. Hadouken! Sure you can! God. Who came up with this character for a Mortal Kombat game? Look at him! Stands there with his arms folded. Fuck you. Okay, so you're probably going to want to do this fight challenge because if you complete it... Actually, no, you're probably not going to want to anyway. Because, I mean, who actually cares about this character? But look, in all seriousness, if you defeat him, 
in the fight challenge, you will not only unlock a set amount of coins, but his alternate costume. So let's do it. Two serpents facing each other in combat. Will you accept this challenge? Reluctantly, I will. Damn it. You know, I find that if you spam the same move or the same combo over and over again, the AI tends to get very smart in regards to that and it will see how it's just constantly blocking now. So you really do have to mix it up otherwise. Yeah. Otherwise you'll just get fucking destroyed. If this takes me more than three tries, it's gonna be fucked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Done. So there you go, 350 platinum coins, and wait for it. We'll get his alternate costume. There you go. Coffin IP unlocks Cobra's alternate costume. Look at that costume. What's so great about it? He's just got a hoodie jacket on. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so we've completed that. Let's see if we can find any coins or chests hidden amongst these trees. The game loves hiding coins and chests in amongst the trees because the game knows you're going to go looking for them and it knows that this is exactly what's going to happen you're going to get fucking stuck and it's just going to laugh at you you know like yeah he got stuck by a weed fuck you game I am plowing through these fight challenges but remember Three words Netherrealm Shang Sung. You will be scarred like I was. And deliver. What the hell? Oh, that was some ducks. Fuck, I thought that was a shark in the water there. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Like, what do these people do all day? Look at them. It's like their, their life is such strict routine. At 7am, on the fucking dot, they walk outside the front of their house and stand there, staring. I mean, look at this guy. It's now 9.45am. He's been standing here for 2 hours and 45 minutes. 3 hours now. And this is all he does all day. Does he eat? Does he go to the toilet? Do any of them do anything? What is the purpose of their lives? Like, this is this really baffles me. I want to know. I need to get to the bottom of this. Like, look, look at it. Look at him. What does he say? I want to talk to this guy. May the thunder god bless you. That's it. What about this guy? May Raiden watch over you. Oh, okay. I know what's going on here. Look at this. Remember this message we got? Shirai Ryu message. We will pose as worshippers of Raiden. No one will suspect. Well, these people are posing as worshippers of Raiden, so I suspect that they are members of the Shirai Ryu. And in fact, this woman here is. Remember, I told you to keep an eye on this woman. We'll need to come back to her a bit later. So we learn all of Sub-Zero's moves, combos, his fighting styles, and every fight we get into from that point on we use him as opposed to Borai Cho. Thank fuck. Thank you, young man. When you see Borai Cho, tell him I will drink him under the table when next we meet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that fisherman. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose this fucking round. It just. It's tedious, you know? It's. Oh, goodness me. It's easy, but it's just... It's boring and it's fucking tedious. It feels like it goes on for quite a while. 
coin. We can't go in here. Only those who have proven themselves worthy may approach this shrine. Yep, so we can't go in there just yet. That's not until much later on in the game. And of course, they punch you out. A simple, please leave the area would have been sufficient, but no, they had to punch me. Thank God we're not playing as him in that absolutely fucking unspeakable second outfit. Yeah, we're just playing as him in this uh, shredder outfit, which is still slightly unacceptable, but it's okay. I can deal with it. You pass. I just wish they gave him some decent outfit. <laughs> I love how the password is Ice Dragon. Like, couldn't they come up with something more, you know, something less obvious? Like, I don't know, anything. Like, tree branch or scrambled eggs. Not Ice Dragon, which is something that's associated with the Lin Kuei, you know, Sub-Zero himself. <laughs> it's a joke. That's the worst fucking password I've ever heard in my life. Okay, now, before I forget, I'll just mention it. Behind this rock, at about 6pm, a chest will appear. And it's only there for three hours, I believe, until 9 p.m. That chest contains Sub-Zero's alternate costume. Unlock it at your own discretion. If you want to play as Sub-Zero in his alternate outfit, then go ahead and unlock it. If you do not, ignore it. I'm just going to do it anyway to show you guys, even though that costume disgusts me. So what we have to do is defeat Scorpion while starting with 33% health. Now this fight challenge is absolutely fucked. There is no other word for it. It is ab- oh. It's a bad, bad fight challenge. It's very unfair. Basically all you need to do is spam back forward circle, his shoulder dash move. That is it. If you try anything else, you will die. Believe me, okay? Believe me. So this may be cheap. It may still take me a few tries. But this is how you do it, okay? Fuck! I knew it! See, the problem is... Oh! This is actually... Oh, man. I, I, I despise the fight challenges in this game. Some of them like this just ruin it for me, you know. The first time I did this fight challenge, it must have took me, no joke, like 15 tries. See, you need to get in close to Scorpion, otherwise he will spam the spear. Now, natural instinct will probably tell you to do a throw or a combo since he's blocking. Believe me. Do not act on that instinct because the AI knows that you will attempt to throw or attack and it will just duck and counter. Believe me, okay? This is the only way to do it. What the fuck? Did they make this fight any more un- Oh, I knew it. See, that's why I sidestepped. Like, could they make this fight any more unfair? Why not start off the fucking fight with 1% health? And just make it fucked, like one tap. You know, if the scorpion steps on your pinky toe, then you lose. Like, how much more ridiculous can this get? It's disgusting. It is unacceptable, I'm sorry. It is. Oh, man. You've got no idea how much I want to, like, just do a throw now, but I can't, so no. It will miss him. Oh, no. Look at that! One combo! One combo, and you lose. You know, the AI shouldn't... It should not be allowed to do combos on you for this fight. This is just unfair beyond belief. Look at how much he's blocking! Okay, I just went to do a throw there, and that's what happened. Yep. Always when you're a fair distance, he'll be programmed to do the spear. Actually, that might be a good tactic. 
Uh, no, it's over. I'm fucking up the inputs. Oh! Speechless. Speechless. Scorpion just took the words out of my mouth right then. Fuck me. There we go, guys. I finally did it. Took me like another eight tries. What a joke. Fuck that fight. You you killed them all? You have not heard the last of this. We, Shira Ryu, will return, and we will have our revenge on the Lin Kuei. Yeah, whatever. While we're there, I'll meditate till about 6 p.m. and I will unlock Sub Zero's alternate costume from that chest. Not that I want to, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. That alternate costume should be illegal. Do you wish to review your training, Shujinko? If so, step inside my dojo. Ah, oh, shut up! Repeat your lessons. Fucking hell. These conversations just tend to drag on. Like, just fucking get to the point already. Cut the bullshit. Alright. So, Damashi is basically telling us, fuck the Lin Kuei. We have to follow his orders. <laughs> I love how Damashi goes, it is a dark and evil place. It certainly is, and if you remember earlier on I said that you can't actually enter the nether realm unless your soul is corrupt to some degree. Shujinko, while he appears to be a self-effacing sage, he is one sick fuck. He's a thief and a killer. And that's the only way to get into the nether realm. Very good start. Now it's quite strange. If you actually spend the time... Oh god, look at that. Look at that fuck. Look at it. Look. You know who that is? Yep. Shang Tsung. Remember how I warned you guys in the last video that the fight challenge with Shang Tsung is beyond words? Well, you are going to see it. I'm not going to do it just yet. I will save that for later. I do not have the patience to deal with it. I don't think I'm going to do it. It's just... I'm going to say that that fight challenge is impossible. There, I said it. You can't do it. No one can. It's fucking bullshit. But... Dare I say it, I have done this fight challenge. From memory, back in the day, because I'm sort of a completionist with these games, you know what I mean? I do everything that can be done. I believe I have done this, but let me tell you, it took a very long time. It took a lot of willpower and discipline to keep going and trying and trying and trying. Failing, 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 trying, trying. Minutes passed, hours passed, days passed. I grew a beard in the meantime. I lost about 10 kilos, but you know what? I finally did that fucking fight challenge. At this stage in my life, I do not have the patience to deal with that, nor the time. So Shang Tsung, fuck you. It just ruins the whole game, that fight challenge. It really does. It's fucking disgusting. Makes me sick. Let's talk to this lady. Yeah, so a lot of these people here speak fucking weird. That was not English, I don't know what the hell that was. But you know, quite a few of them will talk like that, they're fucking strange. I just heard a baby screaming in the distance there. Jesus. So that's where those hanging bodies came from. Where's the hanging bodies? Yeah, look on the house there. So that guy we just spoke to said, Lovely decorations, aren't they? I killed them myself. 
the fuck is this place? Who are these people? I would not want to live here, believe me. Look at some of the shit in these houses, like what is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. It's not a chair, you can't sit in it. I have no explanation for what I'm seeing right now. I don't know. It's someone's house, they go inside and that's what they see. Can you explain that? I can't, I have no idea. Chest here. So there you go, we just picked it up. Oni Tooth. Jarek needs three of these teeth to prove his worth to the Black Dragon. Fucking hell, I've still got this sack of flour. I am never going to get rid of this. That's bullshit. Until I go back to the Earth Realm later on. <sighs> Alright. It's time. I'm just going to show you guys what this fight challenge entails. I do not plan on completing this. I just have to show you what it is. Just look at it. You have interrupted Shang Tsung's journey in the Nether Realm. Will you defend yourself against his wrath? Let's try. Fuck this fight challenge. Defeat Shang. Look, look at the conditions. Defeat Shang Tsung while he is healing and before you bleed to death. So let me just put this into perspective. You are losing health rapidly. Shang Tsung is gaining health rapidly. Which means you must kill him rapidly. If you do not, you stand 0% chance of doing this. Let's just try this. I'm gonna do that last combo there to get straight into the Cory Blade style. Okay, so we're doing good so far, aren't we? But look at look at his health. Look at how quickly it regenerates. And look how quickly yours depletes. Fuck this fight challenge. Who came up with this? You know, I honestly think that this fight challenge was a mistake. I think that they... I don't know. I don't think they did testing on this fight challenge because... Who can do this? Who can do this? Look at this! Okay. That's the most... That's his best combo. It does 35% damage. Well, it only did 31% there. Oh my god. What the fuck's going... Oh. Uh. Whoa. I got... Wow. I got really close there. See, the thing is... Basically, if Shang Tsung does one hit to you... It's over. You know what I mean? You're fucked. I'm gonna go straight to the Cory Blade. This combo just does the most damage. See, if he blocks... That's, that's the problem, man. Once he fucking blocks... That's it! I don't know. I've got some hope now. Because I almost killed him. I'm gonna try this one more time. If I can't do it, I don't give a fuck. I might come back and try it a bit later with another character. Once we learn how to play... Oh, wow, this is going to fucking bad. Look at that. I got no chance. See, he just sidesteps or blocks. Fuck you, Shang Tsung. I'm out. I'm returning to the map. Absolutely horrendous. Unacceptable. Keep away, mortal. I know you are after my totem. It is mine. No, it is mine. Actually, it's Nightwolf's. Punch him out, and there you go. Collect the totem. If you try, watch what happens. And of course, I get punched, as always. Look at that splatter of blood on the ground. Goodness me. Now, if you're reading a guide, it will say Drummond is at location D6. I'm going to show you exactly what happened to me 
when I tried to go to D6, okay? So this is D6 here. I spent like maybe 20 minutes running around this whole area trying to find Drummond. Because, you know, the guide said Drummond will be at location D6. This is D6. Look at it. I meditated here for a week, okay? Trying to make Drummond appear. He is not in the outskirts of the Nether Realm. He is inside behind Shinnok. Look at this. How deceptive is this? This is barely D6. This should be called D7 or C7, you know what I mean? Fucking bullshit. Fuck you, game. That pisses me off. But anyway, let's talk to him. This asshole, once again, with Ermac. So let's give it a try. He is fucking ruthless. He blocks everything, sidesteps, does aggressive combos. This is the hardest fight challenge in the game. It is completely unacceptable. Who the hell came up with the idea for this fight challenge? They need to be... Oh, they need some talking to. Look at this! I cannot do anything! If I do a move, like, you know, if I try and do a special... Fuck this, I'm gonna give it one more go. I'm sorry guys, I just need to... I need to try it again. You know, if I do special moves, watch, I'll do one straight off the bat here. Okay, hang on. Fucking hell! Stop that shit! See, I mean, it's good, but special moves just take up too much time. You're losing health, so you've got to kill this piece of shit within like 15 seconds, you know? That's if you don't get hit. Fuck this, I'm done. You know, if you guys can do that fight challenge, my hat goes off to you. I applaud you. Yep, I'm clapping right now. Amazing. Well done. You deserve a medal for that shit. Reason. Fuck. Jesus Christ, that sidestep bullshit. Goodness me. <laughs> wow, he's going to defeat me this round. Oh, I could come back. Yeah, I can do it. Fuck yeah. Locate Cobra and defeat him in battle. So we have to assassinate Cobra. This has got to be my favourite side mission in the game. Killing a character that I absolutely despise. But unfortunately, like a lot of the other side missions we've collected thus far, we cannot complete that one just yet. We have to wait until much later in the game when we come back here. Then we can complete it. I just wish there was another side mission. Assassinate Bo Rai Cho. Then my life would be complete. I wouldn't need to play this anymore. I'd be done. Here she is. Let's talk to her. Melina will sink her teeth into you. Will you bite back? I'm going to try. So this is sort of like the Shang Tsung fight challenge where Melina is healing but you are not losing health. So it is doable but the only thing that pisses me off about this fight challenge is that you have to win three rounds of combat. I mean come on, you think that's enough? One round is more than enough for a fight challenge of this caliber. You know, this is just it's out of control. The fight challenges from this point on are just ridiculous. Let's let's give it a go. Defeat Melina three times while she is healing. Round Fuck this. One. Okay, so you've got to be quick basically at attacking her. So I'm just going to get straight into the axe fighting style. Of course, she's blocking. Now the trick here is you've really got to save your breakers. If you must use the breakers, just use one per round. That's sort of what I try and do. Because you don't want to get to the third round and have no breakers left. You really need them for this fight. 
hell? Oh, God. Look at her health. I am fucking trying my ass off here. Gotta keep the pressure on her non stop. Trying not to use any more breakers. God, I've gotta be quick here. Oh! Come on. Good. Stop. Fuck! <laughs> if I can get her to use all her breakers as well, that would be good. Alright, so she won the first round. That's okay. I'll try and hold off from using any breakers this round. As you can see, all I'm doing is just this... Well, I'm trying... God, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, guys. I had to use a break there. You know, not only is this fight challenge difficult in the sense of its conditions, you know, defeat her while she's healing, but Melina is just very tough. She blocks a hell of a lot. Her combos are quite damaging. She sidesteps quite a lot. She's just a fucking bitch to defeat. There we go. Get the hell out of here. I used a breaker on that round, even though I didn't really want to. Don't even bother using special moves, they just take up too much time. You've just got to keep fucking hitting her. God, I so wanted to just use a breaker. She threw me though, so it wouldn't have done any good. Fuck! Look at her health. You see what I mean? You have just got to continually hit her. So as you can see, this is quite difficult. I mean, all I'm really doing is spamming the same moves over and over again, so... The AI is probably becoming familiar with that, but still... This is just... Disgusting. I mean, like I said, one round would have been more than enough for this fight challenge. Why three? Why three? If they had to make it more than one round, just make it like a normal fight and make it two rounds. Why three? Tell me. What is the logic behind having three rounds of this? I don't understand. Is it just to piss off the player? Because it's certainly working. I'm fucking annoyed with this shit. Look at that! You know, she tends to do a lot of juggle moves. Oh, good lord. I don't know if I can even be bothered, guys. You know, it's doable, but... Nah, I'm sorry. I don't want to deal with it. Fuck that shit. I am just sick of these fight challenges. I hate them. Ever since encountering Shang Tsung in the Nether Realm, I'm scarred. I'm tainted. I just absolutely despise them. Punch that bitch. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> oh no, I didn't want to fucking do that. <laughs> uh, does that mean I'm gonna have to try again? I could press start and exit. Round one. I guess we'll give it one more go. Let's see. <laughs> what a great start to the fight. She immediately sidesteps and does a good combo. Okay, you know what? If I lose the first round, I'm just pressing start and exiting because I've got no chance. I just don't care. Wow, a breaker when she was on the ground. Did you see that? Why did I even bother doing a special move? <laughs> she wasn't close enough. Okay, got her. Press start. Oh god, get me out of here. I'm done. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Return to the map. Yes, I don't want to do this. Like, who came up with these conditions for these fight challenges? Who came up with them? I want to know. I want to know what their thought process was when they came up with the conditions for some of these fight challenges. I mean, three rounds. Fuck off. That is disgraceful. 
You know, I've got a fight challenge of my own. Why don't we make it that your opponent is healing, you are losing health, so that's pretty much the Shang Tsung fight challenge from the Nether Realm already. And not only that, you have to win three rounds of combat and only throws do damage. Yeah, how do you fucking like that? Take that fight challenge. I would love to see someone do that. Absolutely horrendous. And actually, how about this? You must play as Master Borai Cho in his drunken fist style for that fight challenge. How's that? God, I'm just so angry at these fight challenges. For the first Satan Guardsman, you have to use Borai Cho. Yep. Borai Cho. I feel like just running over here and jumping off the edge and committing suicide. What's the point? I'm done. Fucking hell. Why Borai Cho? Disgusting. There we go. Borai Cho wins. I can never escape from this character, can I? He tends to use his hands a lot, Havoc. Oh, what the f <laughs> That was actually forward back circle, which I pressed. He can do weird... Oh, you'll see. Like I said, he's a very strange character, Havoc. Cower before the might of Baraka, or will you defy him? I will defy him. Hopefully. But I have a feeling he's going to kick my ass. Defeat Baraka before you bleed to death. God. Round one. Fight. I guess it wouldn't be too bad, but Baraka is extremely aggressive here. I think you only have to win one round of combat as well, but... Ah, that's it, I'm done. You get hit once, it is over. I might give it a couple more tries, actually. Ooh. This is disgraceful, look at this. Tried to throw. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. No. Forget it. I just. I cannot be bothered. Look, you can do it. It's just going to take a lot of tries. You know, you have to get lucky in terms of Baraka not blocking and sidestepping. I just can't be bothered, guys. I have absolutely had it with these fight challenges. I will try them. You know, I'll give them a couple of goes, but I don't want to stress anymore. Because they're not even worth it. I mean. If the reward was something like unlocking a secret character to play as in arcade mode, I might be compelled to do it, but all you get is a measly 300 to 400 random coins. What's the point? And even for that Shang Tsung fight challenge, that's all you get. 400 coins. <laughs> you should get, I don't know, you should get something very significant for completing that fight challenge at least. There should be a chest over here, yep. Let's grab that. 200 ruby coins. And if we go all the way up here, there is a chest which contains another 200 ruby coins. Yep. 200 ruby coins? What's with the ruby coins? Another chest over here. Give me something else. What the fuck? Ruby coins, why? So, without further ado, let's talk to Cobra and take care of him. Look at this fuck. He looks even worse when you're not actually in combat with him. I mean, look at him. That is terrible. Look at his hair. I don't even know what to say. Cobra will fight to the death. Do you accept his challenge? Yes, we do. 
I don't mind a bit of a challenge, but when the challenge becomes fucking horrendous, that is unacceptable. Good lord. What the fuck? He's just, okay, you're ducking, alright? If you want to keep ducking, I'm just going to keep doing this. Fuck the AI and their ducking bullshit. I've absolutely had it. Ducking, sidestepping. This is like the best move to counter all of that shit. Ermax axe twirl move by pressing back square. Yep, thought I'd give it a go, but I knew he'd block it. This fight challenge, look, I think it's bullshit. It's... It's doable, but... You know what, I'm just going to show you guys. I'll let the fight challenge speak for itself. Let's talk to him. Will you test Sub-Zero's ancestral armor in battle? Yep. Defeat Sub-Zero while you only do 25% of your normal damage. This means it will take four times as long to kill this piece round of shit. One. And oh no, you think this is just one round? No, this is an actual full fight. Two full rounds of this bullshit. Unacceptable, I'm sorry. And of course, he's a notorious blocker and sidestepper. Look at the amount of damage I've done to him. It's barely fucking anything. Oh! I'm sorry, this fight challenge is disgraceful. What the hell? It looked like he just healed then. I swear I just saw a bit of health go back to him. What the fuck? Let's try a throw. Fuck! You know, the AI is just becoming really good at doing combos. It's funny because I've watched a few videos of Deception's Conquest mode on the Xbox, and let me tell you, the AI is nowhere near as fucking aggressive as they are in the PS2 version. That's just what I think, but I may be completely wrong about that. Look at that combo! Just... I can't even throw this guy. If you wanted to beat Sub-Zero... Look at that! He won't attack me as I'm sidestepping, but the moment I let go of holding up, he doesn't attack. Fuck this Mortal Kombat, oh, man. Have I told you guys how much I hate Mortal Kombat AI? I think I've only said it about one million times, but that's not enough. It just needs to be said. Fuck! Why not? God damn it, I pressed the throw button at the exact same time he threw me. It would have been nice if there was a throw tech ability in this game. Of course. Yep. Every time I let go of down or up to stop sidestepping, that's when Sub-Zero attacks. Can't fucking stand the AI. Pisses me off. <laughs> oh, I love the AI. I love it. Look at this. So how come I can do this, but not the Sub-Zero one? You want to know why? You know exactly why. Because the Sub-Zero AI is fucked beyond belief. Absolutely unacceptable. I think the music's glitching out here. It's in a continuous loop. I don't know why this happens. I mentioned it before. When I play on the emulator, sometimes this happens. And to stop it, basically you just got to do something else, like initiate a fight challenge. 
or whatnot. So I might go ahead and do that now. Kira is here. She is... What the fuck? Wrong button. <laughs> Let's go in this little hut here. <laughs> Look at the scaling. The chest is bigger than me. <laughs> 250 platinum coins. Outrageous. Go inside and this will contain a chest with Darius's alternate costume. Look at that. That's fucking terrible. That sort of reminds me of Tiger from Tekken 3. That costume. You know who that is? Yep, that is Bo Rai Cho here in Outworld. Because if you've been following the story, Bo Rai Cho is actually originally from Outworld. So this is technically his home. Good. I wish he just stayed here forever. As opposed to coming into Earthrealm and tainting it with his presence. Anyway, let's speak to him. This will be a fight challenge. Will you challenge Master Bo Rai Cho in his home realm of Outworld? Yes. And I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Stimulating performance. And the music is glitching out now. Beautiful. That's okay, we're almost done. Now look at this. If you come over here in the corner of the city of Lei Chen at location G1, you'll see Liu Kang walking around. Talk to him. I will talk He'll give to you some later, coins. Friend. What the fuck? I will talk to you later, my friend. That's fucking bullshit. You're supposed to give me coins, ruby coins. I will talk to you later, my friend. Oh, that is fucked. Every other time I've played this game, I swear he's given me coins when you talk to him. So I don't know what the hell is going on there. That's bullshit. Thank God we don't have to fight the Tarkata. Because, as you'll know, if you've watched my playthrough, or walkthrough, should I say, of Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, you'll know I have an extreme and strong hatred for the Tarkata. Absolutely ruthless enemies in that game, Shaolin Monks. Atrocious. Oh wow, we've got some furniture in this house, look at that. Two chairs and a table. So whoever lives here must be royalty. Amazing. They'd be able to sit down and eat a meal, for example. Something that most other people can't even do. Like here, for example, what do you do in this house? Put down a mat and sleep, that's it. Now, Liu Kang, I want those coins. I will talk to you later. Oh, my fuck friend. you, you know what? Oh, here we go. I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Do not tempt me. Don't act modest, show me what you got. I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Do not tempt me. Third time's lucky? Nah, okay. I am quite skilled in the art of combat. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm sick of this shit. You know, I hate the fight challenges in this game. I fucking hate them, they all suck. Fuck fight challenges. I hate it. Got lucky there. Fight challenges ruin conquest mode. Completely. Well, the hard ones do anyway. You know, like I've said before, I do enjoy a challenge. As long as the challenge is acceptable, you know? I mean, this wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fucking ridiculous nature in which Raiden blocks and counters your moves and so on, you know? Come on, one teleport kick. Yes! Hell yeah. Got him. Okay, now, in the front of this house here at location D5, you'll see this guy. Talk to him. He'll give you a side mission. What the fuck? 
Ah, oh, god damn it. Five o'clock he goes back in. That's actually an annoying thing about the Order Realm here. The majority of the people that you can speak to in terms of getting side missions and completing them and whatnot, most of them are only here during daytime. Very rarely will there be some out during nighttime, so I'm just going to meditate. The emissary, Parlos Casina, has not returned in weeks. If you discover his whereabouts, please return to me. I will pay you for any information you uncover. <laughs> Parlos Casina, come on. Once you go and talk to him, that will initiate training with Hotaru. Now the reason I don't want to do that just yet is because I fucking hate Hotaru. I think he's an absolute rubbish character. He's only got two special moves. I don't like his combos. I just can't stand him. So I don't want to do his training yet because I want to try and do the fight challenges with Melina first, you know, because currently I'm playing as Melina for the fight challenges. I want to try and keep that going for as long as possible. Look at this. Look at him. How often do we see Bo Rai Cho? Pretty much every fucking realm I've gone into, I've seen this piece of shit. Why? Why does he need to be put everywhere? I hate him. Fucking hell. Anyway, talk to him or punch him. And that will initiate a fight challenge. And actually, look at this. In between Blue Town and Green Town here. Roughly at this location on the map, C6. You'll see Mocap strutting about. Look at him. What a fucking disgraceful character. You could actually play as him in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Fucking disgusting. Basically, his character is just a joke, you know. It's in relation to motion capturing, you know, for digitized actors and whatnot in the old school Mortal Kombat games. And they thought it would be funny to put a character you know, literally a motion capturing character like this in the game. He has got to be one of the worst characters in Mortal Kombat history. Fucking disgraceful. So, naturally, everyone is going to want to punch that guy. And you're rewarded for it. With a video. Coffin AF unlocks Cho Jio video. Excellent. I love how it's just a reward to punch that guy. <laughs> they must know that everyone would have punched him. You son of a bitch, you stole Scorpion's fighting style from Deadly Alliance. Now you will learn secret Satan fighting moves. I will teach you our special attacks. They fucking suck. Grasshopper. A rip-off of Liu Kang's bicycle kick. He just does it a little bit differently. Side on. Well done. Now try this one. This is even worse. Look at this. Watch what happens when I press down back square. Okay. You can't be too close. Nor can you be too far. You have to be at the perfect fucking distance. For this move to hit. It is a terrible move. I mean, the only redeeming feature of it is that the opponent gets flung towards you, so you can follow up with an air juggle combo, but <sighs> hitting them proves very difficult in a real battle, you know, it's fucked. You have found your man. I am Darius. I look forward to resisting arrest. Defeat Darius to suppress the riding. Okay, let's do that. Ugh, fucking hell. Have I told you guys how much I hate Hotaru? Okay, Darius is a notorious ducker for this fight. So I might just use some Naginata combos. To throw him off a bit. Why did I even bother trying to do that move? Fight! 
I don't even know what combos to do. Like, he just doesn't have any good combos. Fuck. Fuck. Jesus. And great, the music's glitching out. Fucking piece of shit. I can't stand it when this happens. You know, I usually do about three test runs of an area before I do the final recording. And on all the previous three test runs, the music was perfect the whole time. And now, when I'm doing the recording, it fucks up. Fuck you, game. And as you can see, look who it is. It's that unacceptable creature, Shang Tsung. And no, this isn't a fight challenge. Well, actually, it is a fight, but... It's not like the Netherrealm fight challenge. All we have to do here is defeat him in two rounds of combat. But first, let's see what he's doing here. Are you fucking kidding me? The music shat itself again. Listen to this. What the fuck? Fucking piece of shit. The katana... I don't have any breakers left. Fuck! <clears throat> I tend to lose a few times when fighting Raiden. It's no big deal. Why isn't the fuck? This is really starting to piss me off. I fucking had it. I just... Damn it! Done. One more round to go, I can do it. I've still got two breakers left. He's only got one breaker. Jesus. What the fuck? Oh god, I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm fucking panicking right now. God damn! Fuck! Round three. I hate. I ha I hate this fight. Look at that! Look at that! It just doesn't. I don't know. Kenshi just seems to do weak damage. Maybe I should be doing bigger combos or something. I just suck with him. That's basically all it is. But anyway, there you go. Once you defeat Nightwolf, you get his alternate costume. Look at that costume. <sighs> that is awful. I will never wear that alternate costume. His normal costume, his default costume, is perfect. So let's get straight into it. Now the first one... <laughs> The first side quest that we have to do, funnily enough, involves everyone's, well I'm not going to say everyone's, but the majority of people's most hated Mortal Kombat character, and that is none other than Su Hao. So where is that fuck? There he is. He's always sort of walking around this location here, F5. Or sometimes over here, E5. Alright. So we need to talk to him. And he will give us a side mission. But, you know, I feel I owe it to everyone that's been watching my videos so far. I feel I owe it to the fans of Mortal Kombat. I owe it to pretty much humanity in general. To do what I'm about to do. And that is to punch this piece of shit in the face. Unfortunately, we don't have a... MG42 machine gun, you know, anything like that where I can just completely obliterate this guy, so punching's just gonna have to do, so let's do it. There we go. <laughs> have you gone insane? <laughs> have you gone insane? Alright, so 
If you keep trying to punch him after that, watch what happens. He gets smart, he just blocks and punches you. So, to save further embarrassment from being knocked on my ass, I'm just going to talk to this guy. Find employment for the assassin Su Hao. What a bum. We gotta find this guy a job. Look at him, he's just wandering around the woods aimlessly. Fucking find a job yourself, you lazy piece of shit. Absolutely useless character. Unacceptable, disgraceful, atrocious, horrendous! The worst character in the series. I don't care if someone says they love this character or not. I... I hate him. With every bone in my body. So unfortunately, we have to help him. So we might as well do that right now. And to do that, we need to locate Mavado. Let's go inside here first. Before we go back to Su Hao. Nothing. Just a table. Where's the chairs? What the hell's going on here? How can you just have a table with nothing else? What kind of a place is this? At least in Earthrealm, I remember when I was going through there, you know, I'd walk in some of the houses and there was a table with a chair. So at least the person could sit down, have a meal. You know, basically just at least sit down. But there, there was just a table. So what do they do? Stand at the table and eat? Oh my god. God, what is this place? Okay, so let's finally go back to Su Hao and tell him that we found a job for him. Found him employment. What a disgrace. Where is he? There he is, let's talk to him. A table and two chairs, what an upgrade. I'd much prefer that house than that room in the palace. What the fuck? What the hell? Was that real? Did that just happen? I saw a lady walking in mid-air. Must have been a glitch or something, I don't know. Look at that, I've still got that sack of flour. Bloody hell. I can't get rid of it either because I can't go back to the Earthrealm village. Which is where we need to go in order to complete that side quest. Oh well. Look at that! If he hits you a couple of times it's pretty much over because... Not only is that going to damage you... It just wastes too much time, you know. You've got to be really quick at... Okay, no chance now. No chance at all. Wins. I still damaged him a fair bit there though. What am I doing? What a mess. Round one. Fight! And if you actually think this is a hard fight challenge, my goodness, wait till a bit later on in the video when we encounter the likes of Dyro and Scorpion. And we have to fight Tanya a bit later on as well, but that's not actually a fight challenge. That's one of the main missions. My goodness, that is an absolutely atrocious fight. Fucking disgusting. Because... The thing is, we have to actually use Shujinko to defeat her. Fucking hell! This is horrendous! Round one. I can do this, guys, Fight. believe me. <laughs> See? For a lot of the fight challenges, you've just got to get a bit lucky, you know. You need the AI to relent for a little bit and stop with the blocking bullshit. I mean, look at that. Look at how much he blocked. Come on. 
You just need to get lucky and hope that he doesn't block that much. What if I just keep doing this? No, you don't. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to give it one more go. If I can't do it, I just don't care anymore. I've had it. Round one. Fight. I just can't take it anymore. I'm fucking sick of this shit. I really am, man. Look at this! Havoc wins. There's just no compelling reason to do any of the fight challenges in this game. There really isn't. You know, you get a shit amount of coins, like 300, 400 coins, who cares? It's stupid, it's an insult. Especially for that notorious Shang Tsung fight challenge in the Nether Realm, you still only get 300 to 400 coins for completing it. That is completely unacceptable. Makes me sick. Nah, see, I could have done it, but she... Oh, man. You know, these fight challenges are actually causing me a bit of stress now. Like, I can feel my heart rate getting up. Especially when I hear that countdown on the timer. Indicating I've only got 10 seconds left. Kira wins. One more go. If I can't do it, once again, I don't care. Round. This is the worst I've done. Kira okay. Wins. Goodbye, Kira. Good riddance. Fuck you. So that's another fight challenge I couldn't complete. Who cares? Oh, come on, this is it. Bullshit. Round one. Just stop it, please, game. Compared to others, but see, the thing is... I don't know, I feel like the AI is just getting a little bit more aggressive. This is the last realm to explore after all, so I guess that's understandable. I'm not blocking enough, I'm not doing breakers enough. I'm not even focusing enough, that's the problem. Okay, nope, I'm done. I'm out, get me out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I am done. You know, I'm only going to give these fight challenges a few goes. If I can't do it, I'm sorry. Goodbye. I've already got more than enough coins to unlock everything in the crypt. I don't even need the coins. You know, these fight challenges are just a waste of my time now. But I'm just trying to do them to show you guys what they entail and how fucked up they are. And there will be another fight challenge right here in amongst these trees it will involve sure you can ken from street fighter there he is oh sorry cobra from mortal kombat let's talk to him cobra will test his might against you do you accept his challenge this is a fight challenge I just simply cannot do. But I'm just going to show you guys to prove how fucking bullshit it is. Look at that. Defeat Cobra in 30 seconds while you are only doing half damage. Round unacceptable. One. Completely unacceptable. It would be doable if it wasn't for this constant blocking bullshit and interrupting of my attacks by the AI. And maybe if I had a bit more fucking time as well. Look how quick that punch was! I suspect that a lot of these fight challenges were never tested properly. 
prior to this being released. Because they're just so inconsistent, you know, like... Here we are in a Denia, and quite a lot of the fight challenges already have been bullshit. I mean, admittedly, I have been playing like shit, but this is just one I find very hard to do. I don't know why. It doesn't sound too bad, but half damage is pretty bad. Oh wow, he's not blocking a lot. What the hell's going on, Cobra? Fucking wow! Oh my god, I could have fucking done it! If he didn't stop interrupting my attacks, that piece of shit. Look at his face. It's all bloodied up. Beautiful. You see... <laughs> Bro, I shouldn't have even done that. It just takes up too much time. Okay, goodbye, Cobra. Have fun. I'm out. And if you go over here, you will see Scorpion. This is another fight challenge. Now, this fight challenge is... It's one of the worst in the game. It really is. Get over here, will you go over there? Ugh. It's hard. It's a very hard fight challenge. Just look at the criteria. Defeat Scorpion despite him doing 300% damage and healing. 300% damage! Which basically means 2 to 3 hits and you are absolutely toast. You cannot get hit at all. Always use your breakers. Alright, let's give it one more go, we'll see what happens here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Healing as well, I mean, come on. One more go, one more go, one more go. You got a flawless victory there, so that's not good. Round one. Fight! Shit! Look at my health already! Scorpion wins Again! Oh, it's because of the healing bullshit, that's why. I was wondering, I was hitting him then a bit. And then I realized, oh, that's right, he heals. Goodbye, Scorpion. Thanks for the matches. And while we're here, I might as well make my blood go beyond boiling point and give the Dyro fight challenge a go. You're gonna love this one, guys. This one's gonna be beautiful. Have a look. Dyro has hunted you down. Will you defend against him? Highly unacceptable, this fight challenge. Only throws do damage. Okay, so that's not too bad. We've had quite a few of those fight challenges throughout the game, and we've been relatively successful. They do take up a bit of time, though, because throws don't do that much damage. But not only that, we cannot block. Why? Why was that necessary? You know... It's just, it makes it very hard because even when you sidestep, 90% of the time, Dyro still hits you. It's disgraceful. And he loves ducking. Oh, got lucky there. Look at that. It would just be so good if I could block, you know what I mean? Then this would be easy as hell. <gasps> oh my god, I did it! I did it! 
Oh! <laughs> that's right. That's why I find this one to be absolutely horrendous. It's two rounds. Yep. Okay, I'm done. Yep. You know what? No. Sorry. No deal. No deal. <laughs> I thought I actually did it then for a second and then realized, oh no, that's right. Of course, the game can't be that fucking forgiving. I will decide later. Here is your reward. 500 platinum coins. Now watch him. Look at him. Look at this. <laughs> Look at him. Talk to him. I do not feel very well. Yep, now watch. Dead. There you go. That's one less soldier of Shao Kahn's army to worry about. Thank you, Shujinko, and good luck. Ugh, good luck. I'm gonna need it. So here we go. We have to defeat Tanya in order to free Queen Sindel. This is make no mistake this is a very very difficult fight it is horrendous okay because we're not using Lee Mei to do this fight we have to actually fight as Shujinko here and you know we don't have any special moves yet with him so we're basically fucking useless all we have is combos in the Mantis and Shaolin Fist style we don't even have combos in our sword. Oh man, it's just a disgrace. Anyway, let's do it before I lose my mind. Now, why is she so hard? I don't know. She just is. She blocks a lot, sidesteps a lot. Shujinko fucking sucks. Look at this. Look, look at the combos in his sword fighting style. Square, square. And it's pathetic. It is so slow, that attack, that combo. It is shit. And after you've done it, it leaves you vulnerable to attack because there's a bit of a recovery period. It's absolutely terrible. Special moves? None, except a throw. Look at this! I mean, he's got good combos, but look at that! Who can remember how to do all that shit? No one. No, get out of that sword. Oh, shit. No! That was it. Now, what's going on? That's what I'm pressing. Square, triangle, circle, L1, square. Do it. Do it, Shujinko. What the hell's wrong with you? Shujinko wins. I hate this character. Round two. Oh, that was it. Come on. I swear to God, if I've actually put my head down into my hands right now. Hang on, I just need to recover from that. Just... <sighs> just give me a... Oh, man. I don't understand how this game can be so cruel sometimes. There is just no compassion from this game whatsoever. Absolutely fucking unrelenting. Inflicts so much pain on you that you will no longer feel the pain because it's just become an accepted reality. Okay guys, I'm just going to cut it to when I finally do defeat her because I honestly don't know how long this is going to take. Damashi, what has he done to you? Let him go. Shujinko, please save me. <laughs> oh, fool. All right, hey guys, it's Gstar321 here, and today as you can see, I'm playing Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks for the PlayStation 2. So I'm going to go Sub-Zero Sub -Zero. and fuck hard difficulty, I'm going to go normal. They're fighting themselves. <laughs> I 
fucking stupid. All right. All right. So now let me just try and get this asshole over here. Jesus Christ! Get over here. All right. There we go. Oh God! Almost got it there. It's close. Nah, way too far. Was on the wrong angle. In the fire. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> Let's try and get another one of these assholes up here. I want to get that red coin. Over here. Jesus Christ, get the fuck over here. Nah. Ooh, maybe. Oh, fucking hell. Are you kidding me? That was so close. Why is there only fucking one enemy? You know what? I'm gonna get another coin. Make more enemies spawn. Okay, so we can do multi directional combat, which is pretty cool. And you'll notice that just in that cutscene there, Kung Lao yelled out, Liu Kang! Referring to you. It's a problem when you're playing as Sub Zero or Scorpion, okay? They didn't really change the dialogue to match these characters, which is a little bit disappointing, but whatever. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh. <laughs> They're fighting each other again. Mmm! Damn it! Fucking hell, get up there! This is fucked. Oh god, now they're like way over here. Fuck off! That's such bullshit! I, I can do this. I've done it many times before. I'm doing it. I'm getting that fucking coin. Christ, now I've only got this guy. <sighs> Come over here. Like any other Mortal Kombat game, when you want the enemy to attack you, they just stand there like fucking idiots. When you're trying your ass off, they fucking destroy you. Nope, nowhere near it. Gotta do this shit so perfectly, it's not funny. Oh my god, damn it, you fucking asshole. <sighs> Go. Oh, this is just fucking horrible now. This is unbelievable. I can I just can't get it. I I cannot get up there. You know, every other time I play this, I get it. I'm not joking. I don't know why I'm struggling so fucking bad here. This is awful. Look at that! How close was the come off it? Fuck this! <sighs> but I want this coin, okay? So badly, it's not funny. I hate letting shit go like that, okay? I can't let it go. What are you doing? Focus on me, you fucking assholes. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Ooh. Okay, yep, just fucking... I just can't get it! I cannot get it! This is hilarious! I am just fucking... Wow! I never knew it was this difficult! Wow, I could not get it! That's, that is fucking unbelievable! I'm not joking, every other time I play this game, I get that coin within the first or second try. Wow, I've just... I've... I'm speechless. I just... yeah. I'm gonna have to let it go. Fucking bullshit. What's in the skull pile? Nothing. What the hell? Look at him! He's glitching on the spikes! Oh. <laughs> now he died. Alright. Let's go over here. Small health. You know what? You know, you know where I'm going. Yep. I'm getting that coin. 
I, I can't let it go. I'm sorry. I can't. I have to get it. Let's get rid of this weapon. Don't need that. What? Ah, oh, fuck me. No more enemies spawn. That sucks. <sighs> Alright, we'll have to come back here much later on. When I've got the wall run ability, or double jump ability. Then I'll be able to get it within about one second. That's really fucked, man. I can't believe I couldn't get that coin. I, I can't. I just... Fuck that. Get in the spike, you fuck. There you go. Okay, give us some more enemies. You must execute a fatality to open these gates. Okay, Raiden, I will do a fatality. Alright. With the fatality stunner. Alright, I got a fatality. I'm gonna do one. There we go. Awesome. And by doing fatalities, you get bonus EXP, okay? So you're really going to want to do them whenever you get the chance. They're just great. I think I got 550 EXP there. Okay, so we've got to throw an enemy through this wall to progress. Yes, I know, Raid. Shut the fuck up. He won't shut up, okay? He will keep saying that until you throw an enemy into the wall. Extremely annoying. Raiden's still talking. Shut up. Yeah, man. So here... Damn, Raiden is just losing his shit. I was going to say, when you step on these plates here, yeah. Alright, so we got that red coin here. Let's leave. I'm still pissed off I couldn't get that other red coin. That really burns me. That means I have to come back here just to get that one fucking coin. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. You guys know how to get it. I'm not going to bother coming all the way back just to do a, you know, a double jump or a wall run just to get it. It's stupid. You now have the ability to perform a long jump. I now have the ability to perform a long jump. All right. But, yeah, yeah, shut up, Raiden, lock on and then, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we've got these new enemy types to take care of, the Tarkatas. They are extremely tough, they take a lot of hits to go down, and when they attack in packs like this, they just gang rape your ass, alright? They tend to block a lot of the time. So, if you see traps around, like you can see that there's some spikes here, use them, okay? Do not hesitate to throw these assholes into traps. Alright, just do it. They're a pain. See what I mean? Look, the moment you let go of block, it's like they are programmed to just go ape shit on your ass, okay? It is so annoying. Okay, let me see that one almost just tried to do it to me. Alright, when there's just one, I'll take care of them. I'll just kill this guy with regular combos. Get a bit of EXP. So you can see, they take so much to go down, it's ridiculous. There we go. Once we do it. Get over, he's not even looking at me. Get over here. Do I have to hit him? Oh my god. Get over here. <laughs> he just jumped into it. <laughs> what an idiot. Yes, yeah, so that's why I wanted to do that, okay? Because it reveals the location of a red coin. Ah, oh, fuck this. Assholes keep spawning. I'm just going to do a fatality. Damn, I really fucked that one up. Hardcore. Mm. Fucking hell. Get out, I'm doing a fatality. Ah, oh, fuck me. Get over here. Maybe if I start attacking, you'll be programmed to attack me. Okay, let's do it. Oop. Yeah, as soon as you let go of the block button, they just go fucking crazy. Get over here! You're going in that catapult! God! 
What if I stop blocking and just start pressing buttons? Will you be programmed to do something then? There you go. <laughs> just did his shadow kick there. Awesome. Shut up, Raiden. I'll try and do a throw. Fucking hell. I don't want to waste too much time because they can easily kill you. So as you can see, I'm just trying to throw them. It's not working. So, I'm going to do a running sidekick. Fucking hell, that's bullshit. The teleport move. Fuck off! Alright, let's fuck these guys up. I just burnt myself. It's not cool. Fuck. Damn it, I keep burning myself. Fucking get out of there, you fuck. Get over here. I don't want to fight you near the fire. Throw him over here. Use the su Jesus Christ, I'm getting fucked up here. My god. Look at this. Get off me. I can't even hit them. There we go. It's the only time in the whole game that you'll encounter these enemies, the Brotherhood of the Shadow. They are fucked. Okay, they just... Look at them. They just go all over the place. It's very difficult to grab them. Good thing is they're a bit weak. I'm killing them. I'll fucking get over here. Do this shitty move, see if that works. Of course not. That's the most useless move in the whole game, that fucking ground freeze. I don't know, I guess every character's got their own useless move. With Kung Lao, he had his teleport, but to be honest, I never even used it. I may have used it about three times in the whole game. I just didn't find it useful, you know. Maybe it was good, I don't know. I just didn't like it. These fucking statue enemies are a pain in the ass. You can't hit them at this stage because they've still got their shields. You need to do the Fist of Ruin attack. What the hell just happened there? I don't know. His shield is gone, so I'll throw him into the door. Fucking hell. Get away from that tree. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Get in there. Get in the fucking door. Break it. Oh my god. Jesus, get in that fucking thing. Mm! Get in there. So let me just go through. Clay soldiers, that's what they're called. Fucking horrible. Go up here. What the hell, get up there. Get up there, what the fuck am I doing wrong? Oh my god. Jesus, fuck, get up there, you fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? There we go, my god, why was that so hard? Small health, beautiful. Let's go through. Go through! Fuck me. So this will be the quickest. <clears throat> Fuck. You've sort of got to memorize which direction they come out of. Alright, down, that way, that way. Fuck, just missed one. Do it, come on. Fuck me! I've really got to focus for this shit. God, I just keep missing this one over here, to the left. Oh! Fuck. Shut the fuck up, I know! I'm trying to build it up as fast as I can, for God's sake. Get, Get up there. Oh, fuck! The problem is, once you fall down, you gotta go all the way back here fucking jump there. Back to where you were. It's a pain in the ass. Jesus Christ, come off it, you fucking asshole. Are you kidding me? Get up there. 
I'm not a patient person when it comes to video games, you've probably realised this by now. So, when I fall down and have to do that shit again, it really just, you know, just pisses me off. But you've got to be really patient, take your time. Alright. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to jump. Ah! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Alright. Patience, patience. Let's try it again. Two, three. Alright, I'm going for it. Fuck off! Uh, usually I do this first go, but you know, like someone said in the comments on an earlier video, when you're trying to record a walkthrough, all skill goes right out the fucking window. Totally agree with that. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going, oh, fuck off! Mm! Just calm down, just... I'm not gonna get angry, it's okay. It's alright. Patience, and... That's okay, that's alright, I just slipped off there. We'll try again. It's okay. Doesn't matter how long it takes, I'm gonna do it. Okay, jump. Jump. And we need to long jump over there. Yep. Try again. Just keep trying. That's all we do. Normally make it first go, but that's okay. This might take about 50. That's okay. Alright, let's try again. Oop, off the edge. No. So what's that? The fifth attempt so far? Let's see how many we can get up to. Let's aim for 50. Let's put a positive spin on this. Fucked up scenario. God, just get up there. Fucking get up. Just... <sighs> this is horrible. Why? <sighs> Alright, i got to focus. Okay, this is it. Three snakes, go! Okay, I'm, I'm scared to... God damn it! I was just so nervous there, I didn't know if I should have jumped or waited. Oh, fuck, I just... I hesitated, alright, you gotta jump straight away and get up there. Fuck, alright. Well, I know what to do now, it's okay. Sort of homes in on him. Fucking hell, where are you? You're giving me the shits, man. Ah, oh, fuck off. Damn. So, if you stand in the middle again. It should make the statues, yeah, there you go. Okay. This time it is just hell fast. It's extremely difficult to do. I think it's only one round, but if you hit all of them... Oh, God, I almost did it. Unbelievable. I'll give this a little more... I'll give it a go a few more times, but it's just fucking bullshit. Oh my god, that last one. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Just wait for him to reset. The first one when he comes out this door. There we go. 
I give it one more go. If I don't do it, I don't care. Alright, fuck it. Yep, I'm out of here. Fuck this. I have done it before. It's just fucked, okay? I hate it. It took me like 20 minutes the first time to get it. Absolutely fucking horrific. Seriously. That coin can kiss my ass. Now, the Soul Tombs area is plagued with Tarkadas. They are everywhere. And they're the most annoying enemies in the entire game. Simply because when they attack in packs, they're so fucking aggressive. They don't leave you alone for one second. But the good thing about the Soul Tombs here is there are traps everywhere. As you can see, I just threw one down a spike pit. And you got this machinery over here. I just threw him into that. I'm going to throw this guy into it. Get the fuck over here. Look, look how many spawn. Look at this. Jesus fuck. They block a lot of the time when you try and throw them. Get in that fucking thing. Get in there. Get in it. Get the fuck in there, you fuck. Damn Tarkatas. So fucking strong. And there's actually a red coin to collect here. It's a very cryptic red coin to get. I'll show you what you got to do. You can see in the background there, there's three chains going up. Take note of the middle one. You'll see a hook on it in a minute. Fucking hell, these Tarkata are really pissing me off. Just be patient. The hook will come up in a minute. This red coin is without equivocation one of the most cryptic red coins in the whole game to get. It's fucking bullshit. There you go. You can see there's a hook on the chain. Throw a Tarkata into that hook. Like so. And here you go. Over to the left. Fucking hell, these damn Tarkata. Get off me, you fuck. Red coin. Jesus Christ. I can't even talk for five seconds without getting my ass handed to me. New arena art. That's it. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. Get off the fucking edge. Can I throw you in the pits there? Yes, get in there. Burn, you fuck. I need health, so I'm gonna kill this one legit. Fucking Tarkata. Fucking hate them. Hate these fucking... Look at that! And you know what? The final boss for this area, the Soul Tombs, is Baraka. And he's a fucking Tarkata himself. He is, without a doubt, the hardest boss in the game to defeat. It's fucked. But that's how you get that coin, so enough of that shit. Let's go over here. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Such a pain in... Damn it! Ooh, small health. Get the fuck out. Get in the spike. You too. Get over here. Whatever. Just get off the edge. Away from me. Okay, let's try and do this without getting fucked up. Oh, jeez, that was fucking close. Oh, what the... Get up there. I just want to break this urn. Fuck, I needed small health, but whatever, I'll take that. I'll just kill these assholes. You know what, I'm going to do a mortality. Just to fuck them off. Why not? Fucking love that. Go through. Bang. Red coin. The combat crag unlocked for verse mode. What? What the hell is the combat crag? Never even heard of that before. Must just be another versus stage or something. I don't know. Whatever. Get that sword. Hate getting knocked down. <laughs> Fucking hell, they've got so much health as well. It's just disgusting. Die, you fuck. There we go. Jesus. Threw him off the edge, I think. There we go, there's one. Fucking hell. Leave me alone. 
Off. Let's do this. <laughs> what a shit move. Mm. Paved the way for another red coin. Fuck me, look at this, I'm getting gang raped. You have unlocked a new movie. You know what, I'm gonna do a brutality on these fuckers. How do I do it? Forgotten already. Up, down, left, up, circle. Fuck these. Fuck them. Up, down, left, up, circle. Get out, you fucks. Eat this. Eat it. Fuck yeah. Fucking take it. Punch him. Punch it. Jesus, they're still fucking alive, these assholes. Damn it! I think the mortality would have been the better option there. Wow. They're so strong, I can't stress it enough. Hate these fucking enemies. Alright, so now that I've used that, I've got to build it up again. Fucking hell, get off me! Damn it! I can't even do an air juggle without them throwing their blades at me, for fuck's sake. I need to kill him because I need brutality meter. I also want the health as well. Fucking hell, how many are there? Look at them, they just keep spawning. What a fucking joke. This is fucking disgusting. Look at them! Look at that! I would like to do this charge up move. Oh wow, I actually had time to do it. I was gonna say, as if they'd give me time to charge it up. Oh look, look, another one in the trap. Fuck yeah. I don't have that ability. Damn it, let me get in the door! Get off me, you f Jesus! Fuck! Oh, oh, damn it! <sighs> fucking hell, the soul tombs look, it's a great looking area, but man, it just fucking gives me the shit simply because the Tarkata. Fucking hell, I can just hear Tarkata everywhere in this room. Give me health. Not EXP, damn it. Fuck. There's some urns here, I want to break them without the Tarkata. Leave, just leave me alone, let me hit the urn. There better be some health or I'm going to fucking lose it. You fucking piece of shit. EXP, I don't need EXP anymore, I'm done. I think I mentioned this earlier on as well, you know. It's quite disappointing that once you've unlocked all the abilities and moves, there's really no reason to have EXP anymore. It feels like it just goes to waste. And enemies you can just skip because there's no point killing them. That's sort of the only pet peeve I have with this game. It's just nitpicking, but still. Alright, so. Can kill these guys. The monks on fire for health. Fucking hell, kill it. Gotta hit it so precise, I believe. Oh, fucking hell. Maybe not. I've killed these monks before. Yeah, there you go. They give you health, so... Maybe you gotta wait till Baraka. Fucking hell. I want that... I wanna kill that fucking monk. I want health. Stop running around, you... Look at him. Mm. Alright, look. I'll just leave him, maybe. So all you gotta do here is hit Baraka a couple more times. I just want the health from that monk. Seriously, give me health, you fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, forget it. I'm just going to waste too much time and health. Ooh, wow, nice counter. Ten thousand? What a fucking joke. Just to throw an enemy. Wow. Get over here. Okay. 
okay. You don't want to come? I'll throw your ass in there. Get up! Get up! Oh, don't throw the rock at him. They sound really weird as well when you throw them. Listen to them. Whoa, three! Ah, oh, fuck, he didn't electrocute. That would have been awesome. Alright, there's another one. Ooh, health. Grab that. Get in there. Awesome. Fuck off. Listen to them. Oh, oh, what is that? It sounds like a toy doll or some shit. I don't know. It's just fucked. Get in there. I'm sorry, I can't. My clan needs me, and they must know that we have been betrayed by one of our own. But know that I too am opposed to Shang Tsung and everything that is wrong in this place. Know that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Thank you. <laughs> that's a fucking weird cutscene. I'm assuming that's Cabal, because he drops those hook sword weapons. You can pick them up. Pretty awesome. He spoke like Elvis. I don't know, it was fucking weird. Know that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. It's so cryptic, why does he have to speak like that? And then as he left, you know, he just went, thank you, and walked off. What kind of bullshit is that? Anyway, here's the red coin. Fucking hell. You know, when you play Mortal Kombat 2 or, or whatever, any of the Mortal Kombat games, if both players pick Sub-Zero, for example, you're either a lighter shade of blue or a darker shade of blue to distinguish one another. But here, it's the same. Alright, gotta focus here. Fuck off, he's blocking all of them! Mm, don't fucking do that shit to me, you fuck. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could just do a fatality on your ass. Oh wow. This this is really hard, these ones. Look, five seconds, fuck off. Get up there, get up there! Oh yeah! Just. Fucking hell. Oh my god. So you got a bit of time to hit him. Fucking hell. You gotta be really quick with these test your mites, they're fucking bullshit. I've usually only got one second to spare. Alright, just take. Oh! Don't do that! I've told you how annoying that spear move. Oh my god, he just went through my combo! Wow! As you can see, it's up the top there. How do we get it? Well, we've got to throw an enemy into the lava and use his body as a stepping stone. So let's try and do that here. Fucking hell, get off me! Get in there! Oh, that's a pretty bad throw, actually. I'm not happy with that one. What the hell is that? Fucking... God, just fucking get... Oh. I hate this shit where you've got to fucking wait for enemies to get in a specific spot and then throw them. There we go, okay. So jump on his body. Not into the lava. On his body. Where? Get on that fucking body, you... Oh, God! <sighs> Alright, I gotta get another fucking enemy. Let's get this archer in there. Get up, come on. Go, go, go. Alright, I think that's a better throw right on the edge. There we go. Double jump to get up there. Bang. Get the fucking coin. Where is it? Jesus, there we go. Oh, let's go. Just give me a fucking pot already. Look at this. I believe you can kick the pots on the right there, but I have never been successful at it. You know, it doesn't matter which camera view I select, I just can't seem to hit those damn pots. It's fucking bullshit. You know what? Let's try it. Oh, God. Yep, in the lava. Let's go. 
I'm just going to have to be patient here and wait for the pots that come from the left. I believe they are much easier to hit, but they're relatively infrequent. Okay, here we go. I've got to do this. Yes, there we go. Fuck yeah. And as you can see, a red coin has a... God. Got to get out of this pen. Fucking hell, get... Jesus. <laughs> what? Okay, arena art, good. Let's go back to the normal fucking camera view. So I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm going in the lava. Yep, I knew it. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this room now. I'm done. Too much pot bullshit going on. I also burnt myself about four or five times down in that lava, which was not cool. Where am I going? Wrong way. Fucking hell, this room has totally frazzled my brain. It's thrown me off course. Gotta go down this way to get out. Didn't fall in the lava this time. Beautiful. Alright, so there's that giant fucker. And these guys that he's got surrounding him are very, very annoying enemies. We first encountered them earlier on in the game in the evil monastery area. And they were hard enough on their own, you know, but here you've got two of them at once on top of an Orochi hell beast. That's just fucking disgusting. Why would the game make you do this? Look at this! Look at it! <sighs> okay, I gotta focus here. A lot of focus is required for this fight. There's so much shit on the screen, it's lagging the fucking game. Look at this. Oh, fuck, I knocked him into the damn lava. Now I'm not gonna get health. <sighs> That's fucked. See what I mean? You need to get... Okay, good. You need to go into this fight with full health. Otherwise, you just get fucked up. Look at that. I don't even know what happened there. Oh, God. Give me health, you fuck. Alright, what's he doing? Right, there are two hooks in this room. Once you knock enemies into them, it makes that pillar appear, as you can see. And you can climb at the top. But... I want fucking health and brutality meter. Wow, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. There's a possibility I could die here. I hope it doesn't happen. That would be fucking embarrassing. What am I doing? Eat these combos, you fuck. Eat them! I could use Brutality Meter, but he's almost fucking dead, so whatever. Yeah, as you can see, they just hit each other then. So, you got to knock an enemy in between them. At the specific moment, they come down. Oh my god, I can't fucking move! Look at that! Look at it! Fuck this. Get the fuck out. I'm killing this fucking asshole. I can't even do anything. He's not going to let me talk. not going to let me do anything. Fine. Get out! Get the fuck out! Get out! There you go. You. God, wrong one, you fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. You can use the R1 throw move and then, like, triangle to launch him up. <laughs> oh, I just killed him. I thought I got him into the hammer there. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah. So what, now I have to fucking re-enter the room? Oh, that's just fucking bullshit. <sighs> Alright, I'm exiting and re-entering. Very short work. As long as they don't fucking keep firing arrows on your fucking ass. Or doing this, whatever the fuck's going on here. Look at this! What the hell? Go! What? Get off me! Fucking hell! What's going on here? Fuck off! I'm just fucking getting gang raped here. I can't even move. Okay, there we go. Oh, what a fucking great sound. Three times they've pounced on me like that. Fuck off! Okay, I can assure you that on all my previous playthroughs, they have never done that to me. Ever. So why now do they decide to do it to me? Three times, you know, not just fucking once. 
fucking assholes. Let's go. Open. There we go. So, let's talk to her a further three times. You must defeat Khan to save us. Yep. I think I saw some other prisoners taken down that hallway. One more time. Oh no! Oh no! Damn it! Give me the axe! I pressed R2 too fucking early and I threw the axe as opposed to interacting. That's just... That's very disappointing. Whatever. Okay, he just went right off the fucking edge. Wow, are you kidding me? There goes two of them already. Come on, man. What the fuck? I'm holding up to throw him at the wall and he throws him behind. The aiming on the throw is atrocious. I cannot stress it enough. It's just fucking terrible. Look at that! What the hell? Okay, so there's fucking one finally through the wall. Just ignore the other combatants, okay? Forget about Johnny Cage, he does not exist. Just keep focusing on Ermac. Fucking hell, just fucking get off me, you fuck. Ooh, wow, nice. Totally missed, totally. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fuck! Get off me! Oh, do not die! Good, good. He's almost dead. Oh, teleport. Oh, combo. I'm on danger. Acha. All right, he's almost done. He's almost done. Oh, Johnny Cage tried to nut punch me. I missed. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Wrong one. That's it, that's it, come on. <sighs> Fucking hell, let me just get my bearings straight here. So, one there. One there. Oh! And one there. So, I gotta launch a Tarkata into each one of them. Fucking Tarkatas, I hate these guys! I fucking hate them! I 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 fucking hate them! Okay, I'm just gonna kill this Shadow Priest first. Look at that! Shadow Priest is just gonna really give me the shits with his fucking spell moves and shit, so I'm gonna fuck him off. There we go, alright. R2 grapple special. Wow, look at that! And then... Like that? Okay, no, that wasn't it. Look at this! Look at it! Just look at it! It's just amazing how aggressive these enemies are. It is unbelievable. Look at them! Just look at them! Okay. What the fuck? They got out of it. No. Fling them up. Jump. Air throw. Okay, I think that should do it. What's going on? Yeah, there you go. Fuck yeah, take that, you asshole! It was too much of a quick death for him though. Would have preferred that he suffered. This is a torture room after all. Fucking torture these fucks. They deserve it. Alright, so same thing for this one. Fling him up, then jump air throw. Ah, oh, god. Get over here! Get over here! Get in there! Alright, there's the next one. Yes! Burn the fuck out of him. That's torture. Alright, and the final one over here. Same thing. It's only one, so I can deal with the bullshit. Get in there. Quest 3 complete. Let's see that one. Ah. Oh. Too quick again. Very disappointing. I'm getting the fuck out of this room before more bullshit occurs. Look at that, Shadow Priest has spawned again as well. Fuck off. That's actually the hardest smoke mission, alright? Alright, let's go, come over here. Fucking 
Shadow priests, man. Okay. Fling up. Air throw. Fuck! Now the fucking throwing aim is atrocious in this game. God. Really fucking pisses me off. Get over here. Walk over here. Walk over here. Okay, that guy's in a good position. Yes, he's got... Yes, he went in. I think he went in. Alright. Okay, I gotta get this guy down. Fucking get over here! Down! Down, down, down! I hate this shit. Don't have any patience for this bullshit anymore. Fucking, I've had it. This is gonna be a hard one. I can just tell. Especially if you just keep standing there, not doing anything. Get over here! Are you kidding me? How fucking patient do I have to be till I've got like a millimeter of health left? Alright, fuck you. You're not gonna fucking come over here. I'll have to do this again. What the fuck? It's just... Alright, I'm starting to get the shits with how many enemies there are here. Just fuck off. Done. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. 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 Yep, yep. There we go. Fuck off! Get down! Out! Get out! Fuck. Quest 5 completed. There you go. We have now done all these quests. Reward 50,000 EXP. Fucking hell. That's just ridiculous. What do I need that much EXP for? Fucking hell. Give me a health upgrade or some bullshit. Give me something. That's terrible. Wins. And the fifth and final track, look at that, is Bo Rai Cho's Brewery. I mean, what the fuck's going on here? He gets his own track in motor combat? Why is Bo Rai Cho getting such special treatment? He's going to be in Mortal Kombat X now as part of a Mortal Kombat pack. He's got his own fucking track here in motor combat. I mean, what's next? When will this end? If they make a Shaolin Monks 2, is he going to be the main playable character in that game? What a fucking disgrace! This is unacceptable. This isn't even funny anymore. This has got to stop. This is becoming a violation of human rights. It's absolutely degrading and something has to be done about this. Something needs to be done because this cannot be allowed to continue. Completely unacceptable. An atrocity. Okay, let me. So that's Baraka. Uh, oh man, let me just skip this one for now. So here we go. Yeah, let me just speak about this fuckwit. Fucking disgusting. First of all, I just want to say that his go kart is the most abhorrent. It drives like shit. It sounds like it's going to explode as he's racing around the track. You know, it's like he just created it himself out of a beer barrel. It's repugnant. It's it's not fun to play as Bo Rai Cho in Motor Combat. It's not fun to play as Bo Rai Cho, period. Especially in Motor Combat here. Look at that face of his. Look at him. It just makes you want to punch him and grab that beer glass and just smash it across his smug face. That's what I really want to do. And then take a dump in his go-kart. Piece of shit. Why does it keep going to the damn menu? I'm not selecting my character quick enough. Okay, so I'm gonna play... Look, 
I will play as Barai Cho, and I'm going to save him for his own track, Barai Cho's Brewery. The only reason I'm going to play as him is because I need to show you how bad he plays. How... It's... I can't even describe in words how sickening he is to play as. He's just vile, filthy, and there's just not enough despicable and vicious words in the English vocabulary to describe this character and what he does. There really isn't. So I'll be playing as, unfortunately, Bo Rai Cho. Okay, so here we go. Let's get straight into it. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole, Johnny Cage. So there it's extremely handy for turning tight corners, otherwise you'll just, you know, go all the way like this, like that, bang, up against the wall. So don't hold it, just... Oh, fucking god. Alright. I'm coming last. This is terrible. Oh shit, be careful. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I took a swim. Not good. If you're playing 100%, you will still not come first. That's what I'm trying to say. It's bullshit. It's rigged. Look at that. See? How the fuck did Scorpion just get in front of me? You know what I mean? And you watch. There'll be other characters that just overtake me as well. It's fucking horseshit. Unless you can get these speed boosts all the time. Consistent. Look, watch. He'll overtake me. You watch. Look at that. How does he go faster than me? So the only way to win is doing that. Get the damn speed boosts. It's fucking bullshit. Totally rigged. Very frustrating. If you play as Bo Rai Cho, you know, he's in a beer barrel, which makes sense because he's a fucking drunk piece of shit. And be careful if you go off, watch what happens. <laughs> I've got to show you all the fatalities at least once, I have to. And I've got to go. Look, look, look! That's perfect. It's really easy to avoid them. Oops. It's not always the same. I love it. Ooh. Ah! Oh no. That was pretty bad. Get the turbo. Fuck. I'm going straight. Look at that. Bastard. Jax, get back here. Get that. Fuck, I keep missing that damn turbo boost. Go away. Katana. Man. Oh my god, he did it again! And he keeps disorienting me as well. I keep missing that turbo boost because of it. Fucking Jax, get back here. You're another fucking disgrace. Gets his own game in the form of Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Complete nut of dog shit. Oh, he tried to do it again. Did you see? Okay, that was my fault. <laughs> I'm not going to blame Jax that time. Right. Oh, this is fucked. Okay, so I probably won't come for... <laughs> Far out. If only I got that turbo boost at the end. Very disappointing. Oh well. Missed. Oh, what's going on? And you watch, he's gonna... Okay. If I didn't get that turbo boost, and even if he didn't, he'd still overtake me. It's bullshit. As effective. Now be careful here, because... <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> oh dear. Get some coins. Oh my god. Bo-Rai Cho. You'll see his special ability. When I play as him for the last racetrack, absolutely sickening. Oh my god, come on. I had turbo, I thought I'd go straight through that. Oh jeez, that was close. Johnny Cage, you piece of shit, get back here. I know you're in a fast car, but... Get back here. It's like this snowmobile with... Tires with spikes, oh my god. Okay, that was a complete fail there. Okay, so watch, I'll go up the red ramp. Look! <laughs> there was three of us! <laughs> Need to win. Get all... Oh, 
It wasn't enough that he shocked me. He had to send me down the fucking hole as well. Asshole. Okay, so here we go. Bowrai chose Brewery. Let's finish this off with a bang, shall we? Ugh. I'm actually literally just shaking my head now. This is just... This makes me sick. Yes, Bowrai Cho indeed. Now, his special ability is... Look at that! There's even a statue of him! What the hell? Is this character a fucking god? What is going on? Oh man. Listen to his go-kart. It sounds like shit, doesn't it? Sounds like it's just gonna blow up. What a piece of crap. How can this thing even drive? Okay, so his special ability is he baths behind him. And whoever goes into the bath, well, they get stunned. Look at that, see? I puked on Scorpion. Wow. Oh, jeez. And he just keeps farting as well, randomly, throughout the race. I mean, I think you fart when you land from a high jump or get a turbo boost or something. It's just not funny. It's disgusting. It's a fucking disgrace. I'm sick of it. Look at him. Look at that face. Okay, did I get anyone? Missed the turbo boost there. Good. Probably one less fart I have to hear throughout this race. Yeah, that'll probably happen. No. I need that turbo. Fuck! God damn it. Now that turbo boost there at the start, I never get it because it's so awkward and this part has got a lot of tight turns and I just find myself slamming into the damn wall every time I get it so I always skip that turbo boost and just try and drive really well for those corners. Okay, I got the turbo boost. Come third. Jackson Katana are in front of me. I need that one. Yes, good. Now I'm first. That puke isn't hitting anyone. This is pathetic. I mean, how many times can somebody puke as well? Wouldn't his throat be fucked by now? And his ass? Wouldn't he have torn himself a new asshole? from all this farting. So I probably won't come first here, like I give a shit with Barai Cho. Good. Zap me. Oh, it's probably possible if I get this. Maybe. Um, no. Okay, so there you go. You saw Barai Cho in full form there, on his own track with his own fucking statue. The god that he is, or he thinks he is. Absolutely fucking sickening. Look at that. Look at it! What the hell do you make of that? What, what do you, what do you see when you look at that? What the hell do you see? Whew, I can tell you what I see, but I've already said that a million times. There's no need to repeat it. Raicho wins. Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing more Mortal Kombat Armageddon. This time, I'm going to be going through the Conquest mode. Okay, let's grab this, and up ahead, as you can see, whoops, don't want to spin the camera around. That is, uh, you'll see, I'm just going to walk forward. I'm going to have to finish you. What an abysmal introduction to Armageddon's Conquest mode. One of the first characters you see is fucking Cobra. 
one of the most disgraceful characters in Mortal Kombat history. I guess they wanted to get the shit out of the way first, that's why they put him there. Good idea. All you're gonna do is beat this son of a bitch up. It's very easy. Okay, that's it. Get out of here, Cobra. Go back to Street Fighter as he escaped into the jungle. Get the hell out of here. Absolute mess. So that's Cobra taken care of, like I said. One of the first characters we encounter is one of the most disgraceful in the franchise. Fucking Cobra. Good thing we took care of him there. Oh my fucking god, Bo-Rai chose Brewery Churn. Piss off! So we face Cobra, and we find an unlockable involving Bo-Rai Cho. What the hell is going on? Come off it! I want to enjoy this. I don't want to get angry straight off the bat here. Some of these monolith challenges though, are fucking bullshit. And they take me quite a few attempts to get through them. Before you backtrack, Go behind this monolith, and look, there's a secret chest, and that will contain Cobra's alternate costume. Fan-fucking-tastic. I... Sorry, that was... <laughs> I didn't realise I was that close to it. I was getting ready to do a roll. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? I'll just focus this time. Alright, so we're going to get attacked here by a bunch of these red commandos, as they're called. you got to be careful because they can throw grenades at you, and it is very, very annoying. Dare I say it, one of the most annoying enemies in the game, simply because of that grenade throw. You've always got to be on the move, but sometimes, you know, that's just hard. Wow, I'm doing... Look at that, I was blocking, you can't even block it, that sucks. But how could they? Yes, they seem to know who you are, Taven, but how could they? And there you go, congratulations, you unlocked meat. So you can now play as meat. Not like you'd want to, fucking boring character. Wait for the crusher to go down and Okay, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> and that is relic number 11, Su Hao's Watch. Fuck Su Hao. 30 minutes and counting. It says 30 minutes, but man, it's it's more like fucking 5 minutes. It's bullshit. Oh, look at that terrible, terrible costume. Sue Howe's alternate costume. Absolutely disgusting. So look, just look at the timer count down at the top. That's bullshit. In real time, it's more like five minutes. That's what it feels like. Maybe it's a bit more, I'm not sure. It says I've got eight minutes, but that's more like... God, I don't know. One minute? <laughs> Okay, as you can see, look look at the top, I've got one minute, 50 seconds, straight away, one of them drops a relic, pick it up, 17th relic's on his ID, come on, come on, 10 seconds, I can open that shit up, do it, yes, man, that is tough, <laughs> you gotta be very quick there. Okay, now this part coming up is... <laughs> it's actually laughable. It's one of my most memorable moments in the whole of Armageddon's Conquest mode. I think it's a joke. Have a look. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Now excuse me. <laughs> I love that because you can tell Taven is really pissed off with that monk, you know? He goes... Now excuse me, like get the fuck out of my way, monk. It's, you know, that's just a complete joke because as if these monks don't know the location of a temple, 
they're basically blackmailing you. They're blackmailing Taven. They're saying, oh, we don't know where the temple is, but our abbot does. You have to go rescue him first, bring him back to us, and then he'll be able to tell you the location of the temple. What a load of shit. That is absolutely disgraceful. As if monks should behave in such a manner, a dishonest manner. For that, fuck you, Three. fuck you, can't seem to act fuck dishonest. you. I'll come back to it later. It doesn't really matter if you kill the monks because, oh wow, this one survived. What's he praying to? There's nothing here. There you go, take that. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if you kill the monks or not, but if you do, you'll get some coin bags, which is pretty cool. And yes, there's an obelisk here. I'll talk about that a bit later. You know what? Yep, see you later. Strange. I can't seem to activate this obelisk. I'll come back to it later. By the Elder Gods. Very well. Lead the way, old man. See, and he's still not telling you the location of the temple. He's saying, return me to my fellow monks. Look at all this shit. Why do we have to do this? Just tell me where it is. What a pain in the ass. Fuck. But basically, if you just keep doing this... Look. <laughs> See? They can't do a damn thing. <laughs> X button with weapons is absolutely amazing. So we're back in front of this obelisk now. And you know what? I just want to talk about this stupid mission where you have to rescue this abbot. I just want to talk about this for a second. It's fucked. Alright, so like I said before, the monks blackmail you into rescuing their abbot. If you remember, they denied any knowledge of a temple's location and they told us to go rescue their abbot and he would tell us the location of a temple. But it was so stupid because all he did was say, it's that way and just pointed. I mean, we were going that way anyway. Surely we would have figured that out on our own. <sighs> it's such a vague, you know, go that way and points. How much more fucking vague can you get? That is absolutely disgraceful. I want a specific address. You know, something like 232 such and such street. Not this stupid pointing and just saying go that way. That is completely unacceptable. Oh, that, that just really burns me. I just... It's such a fucking pointless, pointless mission. That's the only word I can use to describe it. Pointless. We didn't need to even speak to those monks, and we didn't even need to rescue that abbot. We would have figured it out on our own. I love this death trap, so I'm going to get killed on purpose. Have a look. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Fucking awesome. So now let's get past it. So I like to just sort of get on the far opposite side of the hammer. As soon as I hear that click, then okay. That did not work. I was talking, so I didn't really hear the click <laughs> in time. You've got to be quick. No bullshit now. Let's just get through this. You are free to go. No, you are not free to go. Do a fatality on him, fatality. like so, and that will make a chest appear. Son of a bitch. God, those damn parries. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck! You... I swear to God, I fucking hate this fight. I hate it. Rain is so hard. Fucking pain in the ass. Always blocks, always counters. Got very lucky there. Fuck! That was, that was 
a risky thing I just did. <laughs> Sometimes he does that. Look how quickly he can destroy your health, you know what I mean? What am I doing? Oh god, that was an accident. <sighs> I... I just... I fucking hate this fight, I swear to... I just... I cannot express how much I dislike this fight, I... It is just fucked, it is... Oh, I fucking hate it, I just hate it! Look at... I mean, it's just... He sidesteps, he blocks, he parries. When you do a lot of your special moves, he... He counters by doing a teleport or that really fast kick that homes on you. He is just... You know, it's like the difficulty goes from medium up to very hard in an instant. I wouldn't say very hard, but it goes to hard. It's just... It's fucked. I just hate it. I absolutely hate this fight. I want it to be over. This has got to be it. One ground pound, get the hell out of here. I hate you, Rain. I hate you. Rain's body vanished into a watery portal. This fight is not over, Taven. His voice echoed. The prize will be mine, and I will have my revenge. Fuck off. Fuck. The hell. Off. Terrible fight, that one. Absolutely terrible. I need to keep looking for my mother's temple. That... <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm just... I'm just sort of demoralized after that rain fight because I really wanted to do it in one go. I really wanted to, guys. Trust me. But... Oh, it's just... It's so bad, you know. And this will be a chest with a costume, I believe. I think it's Darius's alternate costume. Yep. Look at him. Doesn't he look a lot like Tiger from Tekken? I don't like that look. I hate it. Kick open that chest for Dairo's alternate costume. Very bad character, Dairo. He looks alright, but he's just... He's just a bad character. I don't know why. I think it's just because of his special moves. In Mortal Kombat Deception, you know, his special moves were absolutely terrible. And I did speak about it briefly in my Deception playthrough. You know, one of his moves is he does a kick and a fucking star comes out of his foot. I mean, what the hell is that? That's terrible. It's so generic, you know what I mean? Bland. If you're going to give a character a projectile move, it should be unique to that character. So for example, Raiden is the Thunder God, so he shoots out lightning. Sub-Zero is the Master of Ice, so he shoots out freeze. Scorpion has his harpoon. Dairo shoots a star out of his foot. What the hell? I mean, does he come from the sun or something? Is that why? Alright, so let's break this snow wall for a chest which will contain Kai's alternate costume. Don't like that character. Don't like him at all. When I used to play as him in Mortal Kombat 4, Kai, I noticed that he bared an uncanny resemblance to Liu Kang. I just remember him having fireballs similar to Liu Kang. I don't know, I just... I just didn't like him at all. And realized we are not in fact Sub-Zero. Yep, and once you defeat Frost, you gain another super move, another special move, called the escape move. Now look, personally, I never, ever, ever used this special move. 
In my opinion, it's fucking pointless, it's unnecessary. I'll show you what it does. Look. Oh, it's sort of hard to show you. You have to be in the midst of battle for it to actually, you know, show its true colors. But basically, you will just teleport from point A here, for example, to point B here. That's it. You basically just escape enemies' attacks and you use a bit of your special meter bar in doing so. That is bullshit. I prefer just doing this. It's the same fucking thing. Such a pointless, pointless special move. Kick the chest open, 300 coins, and over here will be Sub-Zero's alternate costume. The Shredder-like costume. Don't really like that costume, but it's certainly better than his alternate costume in Mortal Kombat Deception, where he has the ponytail. Absolutely fucking disgraceful, that costume. If I die now, I just... I think I'm just going to shut the game off. That's how angry I'll be. It's outrageous. Look at that! Whoa! I'm surprised I didn't die there. I, I felt like I actually touched it. I'm pretty sure I did touch some of the fire particles, that's for sure. Excellent! So once you kill all these lizard men, a chest will appear, kick it open, for Reptile's alternate costume. Fuck that costume, you know exactly how I feel about it if you've watched my Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance playthrough. <sighs> Reptile... Look, I know Reptile's a lizard creature, but... I don't know, it's just... Nothing even needs to be said. You know how I feel. It's fucked, basically. There we go. So as you can see, the first round was a piece of cake. Just be careful of this second round because I find that he does start getting a lot harder. I don't know why. It's like he gets pissed off that you beat him in the first round. I don't have any breakers. This is a terrible, terrible situation. Fucking, he's knocked me off as well. I'm gonna have to do this again. Fuck. It's just, it's disgusting, you know? The blocking. Man, I hate it. Hell. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. I don't think I had this much trouble on my previous practice runs. There's another fight we have during these trials, and it's a lot harder than this one. But I won't talk about that just yet. From the abyss rises a powerful creature, Taven. Send it back from whence it came. This fight is an atrocity. We have to fight Moloch. He's even worse than Motaro. You can't air juggle him. You can't do air combos on Moloch, and I'll prove it. Watch. See? You jump, and you just can't reach him. It's absolutely disgraceful. It's bullshit. And he seems to take quite a beating to go down, Moloch, I find. It's unbelievable. Fucking hell. He packs a punch, I swear to god, Moloch. Yes! Now this is interesting, once you finish that fight, a chest appears. I don't even want to kick this chest open because it contains an alternate costume for a certain character you all know that I despise. Fucking despise. I'm going to kick it open because I want to show you guys everything but I really don't want to. Yeah. 
There you go, look at that. Ferrari chose alternate costume. Isn't that great? Yay, we've unlocked it. Fuck off. Now, look. Let me just put aside my hatred for this character for one second and talk about this alternate costume. First of all, just look at it. Look at it. What do you see, alright? What do you see? That is the most bland, uninspiring, and colourless alternate costume, not just an alternate costume, any costume I've seen for any character in the Mortal Kombat universe. Look at it! It's just like brown, tinges of brown. That's it. And look at the size of his pants! Why are they so fucking big? Why are they so wide? Does he really have chunky legs or is it just he's wearing oversized pants? I really can't tell. That is appalling. Absolutely appalling. Let me close that because I don't want to look at that disgusting piece of filth anymore. And yes, that's a relic there, but before I get that, I'm just going to go over here, grab the coin bag, and kick open the gold chest for the Elder God's male armor legs. So, this has been an interesting area so far, hasn't it? I mean, straight off the bat we got an alternate costume for Bo Rai Cho and look at this. See this relic here? It's a jug and can you guess who this jug belongs to? Yes, it's Bo Rai Cho's drinking jug. Look, yeah, Bo Rai Cho's jug, relic number 45. You know what I'd really like to do with that jug? Take a piss in it and then give it to him to see how he likes it. Nothing else in this cell. We'll go to the one opposite. There will be a relic. Relic number 51. Mocaps Sensors. Get fucked. Terrible character mocap. One of the worst in the series. You're dead. Okay. Fireball. Didn't get anyone. That is disgusting. Oh god. And they just don't, like they don't give you any breathing room. They're constantly in your face, unless they're standing at a far, far away distance shooting out the lightning. But the majority of them will just look, look at them. They just keep running. They just don't let you gain any ground whatsoever. You cannot fucking rest. So aggressive. I hate these guys. Got to get him away so I can do like a ground pound or something. That roll move, I swear to God, if he goes crazy spamming that, yeah, fuck, fuck that. Okay. For some reason, after you do that four hit combo, those three punches followed by that sword launch, every time I go to do it, watch. See how I try to press up, down, X to do the bloody ground pound but he ends up jumping towards him that is so frustrating and it's the worst thing you can do on this fight you know jump towards him I'm gonna have to do this again oh fuck I, I had that in the bag you know I okay look I'm gonna focus hard now because it's absolutely fucked. It is incredibly hard to talk and do this at the same time. This fight is disgusting. I want it to end. I want to fucking kill you, Blaze. I hate you. This fight is just... It's bullshit, alright? It's no skill. It's just luck and spamming combos, sidestepping. And hoping he just doesn't go too crazy on you. Don't jump... Oh, fuck you, Taven. Fucking hell. I, I hate this fight. It's just... Like I said, there's just no skill. It's just spamming shit in the hope that you get lucky. It's absolutely fucking terrible. For a last fight, you'd expect something a bit more... I don't know. Something more challenging skill-wise, not just spamming and hoping that he doesn't hit you. Do a fucking... Oh, fuck you. Jeez, that was lucky. 
Stop blocking, man! This is it! Fuck off! Okay, as, as you can see, I'm just getting lucky here, you know, he's not blocking that much. There you go. Total luck. That's all it is, this final fight. Luck, luck, luck. No skill. Luck and spamming the same combos in the hope that you can defeat him. Such a bullshit final fight. I, I can't stand it. Terrible. Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe. Now, these are my honest thoughts of the game back when I first bought it. Firstly, what really annoyed me about the game was the fact that they included DC Universe characters. I mean, why? Why is it necessary? to put comic book characters in a Mortal Kombat game. Personally, I don't give a fuck about comic book characters at all. So, you know, to see them included in a Mortal Kombat game was just really puzzling at the time. And it was annoying, but it didn't really piss me off that much. It was just sort of why, you know, I was just asking the question why, why would you do that? Secondly, the second thing that annoyed me about this game was the fact that there was just hardly any content. There was virtually no content in this game. And you know, after playing Mortal Kombat Deception and Mortal Kombat Armageddon, where there was just so much content in those games, you know, especially the conquest mode associated with them, to play this game right after that was a big disappointment because all you've got here is basically a story mode and arcade mode. That's it, you know. So it felt very shallow. And thirdly, and this is what I found to be the most annoying thing about this game, was performing the combos in this game is fucked. Okay? That's the only word to describe it. It's absolutely disgusting and atrocity. It's filth. Okay? Performing the combos in this game requires such specific input timing that you will never be able to do it consecutively. You know, it's basically just luck of the draw doing combos in this game. It's absolutely atrocious. Even if you go through practice mode and learn the combos, you will still not be able to consecutively pull them off because it's bullshit. And you know, practice mode involves versing a standing defenseless opponent. <laughs> That's saying something, you know. If you can't even do your combos properly against a standing, defenseless opponent, man, you really need to fix something, you know what I mean? So that was the biggest game breaker I found about this game. Just the fact that pulling off the combos was fucking horrendous. Now, the cons. <laughs> Buckle in, because here we go. Look, this is... I feel, honestly, this is a bad game. It's not the worst game I've ever played, but it's bad, okay? It has flaws, and I pretty much spoke about them just before. The combos, how atrocious they are to pull off, um, the fact that they included DC Universe characters, which isn't that bad, but still, it's unnecessary, I feel. Another con is sidestepping in this game. To do it, you have... Oh, look. I think the best way I can explain this game fully is just to get into the game and start playing it. So let me just go straight into it here. I'm going to be doing an arcade playthrough. I mean look at this, all we've got here is arcade mode, story mode, combo challenge, whatever. You can just practice combos in practice mode anyway. But combo challenge, let me tell you guys something, if you have actually managed to complete all of the combo challenges with all characters in this game, I salute you, I kowtow to you, I bow down, I kiss your feet. Whoever has done this is a god and I respect you fully because it is absolute, I cannot even stress how fucking horrendous the combos are to pull off. The timing is, you know, you've got like within 
one frame of input to put the combos in. It's disgusting. It is appalling. I'm already getting angry guys. I don't want to get angry. I just want to stay focused and calm for this playthrough. But it is a Mortal Kombat game. So take note of that. We're facing Mortal Kombat AI here. I'm not changing the difficulty. I'm leaving it on medium. It's bad. Okay, the AI is fucking horrendous. Let's get started. Firstly, if you press the R1 button here, it will bring up, as you can see, Shao Kahn. And if you press right, Dark Side. Okay, I can't select them because I haven't unlocked them. To unlock them, you need to complete story mode through the Mortal Kombat path and the DC Universe path. I have not done it and I will not do it. I did it back in the day and it was very unfulfilling to say the least. The story is absolutely far-fetched, unbelievable, and I just didn't care for it. So, I won't be choosing any of those characters. So look, for this playthrough, I'm going to be playing as the Joker because I think this game's a fucking joke. So, I'm playing the character that this game deserves. So look at this, you can choose your opponents, either only Mortal Kombat opponents, mixed, you know, Mortal Kombat and DC Universe opponents, or just DC Universe opponents. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell what the developers were thinking. They were like, oh, should we have made this just a Mortal Kombat game? Or maybe just a DC Universe game? Okay, how about both? We'll just put them both in. You know, whatever. I'm just going to choose mixed. Fight. Versing Shang Tsung here. Put her there! Put her there. <laughs> Take that. And here we go. Let's do the Joker's Fatality, the first one. Joker. Listen to that laugh. You really get sick of hearing that laugh Fatality. after a while, that's for sure. Okay, let's go Kano. Yeah, it's really hard to get that gunshot to come out. I just can't do it. <laughs> you know, maybe like one time out of seven I can do it. So he does have some funny moves, the Joker. You know, this thing here. When you do this move, he builds his rage meter a little bit, which is good. But mine's already full. Let's do it, and let's do his other fatality. <laughs> the Joker wins. Yep. What do you guys think of that fatality? Quite uneventful, isn't it? Very lame, should I say. You know, this game, that's another downside about this game. It really toned down the violence, the gore, which is what the Mortal Kombat games are all about. So that fucking sucks. And you know, a lot of the characters don't even have fatalities. If you play as some of the good guys, you know, like Superman or Batman, they don't even have fatalities. They've got what's called heroic brutalities. And it's just appalling. You know, they don't kill their opponent. They just maim them, so to speak. It's just... It's an absolute insult to Mortal Kombat games. Sickening. Yeah. Yep, okay, let's see if I can counter. I tend to just press the same button, okay? I press square there, nothing happened. Fuck you, Sonya. Fuck off. Oh, man, and that's... That's another annoying thing about this game, hang on. Oh my god, the breakers, stop it! Yeah, another annoying thing about this game is when you jump and press like triangle or square to do a punch, it's, you've got to purposely delay pressing it, because if you don't, you'll do it too early, as you can see, and you just completely miss your opponent. It's absolutely fucked, I can't even explain it, it's just something You've got to get used to it. It's so unnatural, I can't even express. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, I'm sick of that laugh already. God. 
What a pain in the ass. <laughs> I get it, he's the Joker, but man, can he just shut up for once in a while? Okay. Fuck! Okay, so he's got me. Can I reverse it? Of course not. Fucking hell, wow, he's pounding me! And anyway, the only max amount of damage you can do there is 30%, so... I don't know what he was thinking. Here, take a playing card to the face. Or that. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, you're done. Get out. Get out. Just please stop now. Oh man, what am I doing? If he kills me... What the fuck? <laughs> man, I'm just getting too cocky, you know? I've got to remember that this is Mortal Kombat AI. Look, it's not that bad in this game, but... It just gets worse as you go up the ladder, and I, I can't even explain it. You'll just have to witness it yourself. Let's do the lame fatality again, shall we? If you can even call it a fatality. Look at that. I mean, you see a bit of blood come out, but... As he's doing it, it just feels... It just feels like nothing. It just feels empty. Void. <sighs> Fight! Oh, I hate that move. Get out of here. Take that combo. Oh no! Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Okay, look. I want to remain calm, but I think this game is just going to frustrate me too much. Have I even mentioned this yet? When you sidestep, you can't. Fucking hell, okay, let me just get into rage here and kill Sub Zero for this round. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> he might kill me. He's got rage himself. Hey, oh yeah, sidestepping. God, it's... Fucking... Oh, that punch when you... Here we go. Yeah, you can sidestep in this game, so it's not really a 2D plane that we're playing on, per se. It's 3D, but to do the sidestep, you have to hold L2 while you're pressing up or down. That, trust me guys, that takes some getting used to. And when I first started playing this game again in the past few days, I was really frustrated with it because I was just pressing up by default to try and sidestep, you know, used to Tekken and other 3D fighting games that have that maneuver. Fuck! Have that maneuver. I've got to really just focus here. Good on you, Sub Zero. Well done. You're a hero. Fucking piece of shit. I hate this game. I just... Look, I don't hate it. Hate is a strong word, but... The Joker. I don't know. I'm disgusted, should I say, by this game. Appalled. Sickened. It's playable, you know. It's, it's a playable game. And it does have some comedic value to it, but the whole way it plays is just inexcusable, you know? Man! It seems like whenever you jump, the AI either jumps... I mean, not... Fuck, why is that missing? I'm... I'm so frustrated, guys. I can't even explain it. Like, this is on medium. This is... W why is it so hard? Like, I can't do combos. Like, they just know. They know what I'm doing, and they react to it. I was throwing bombs, so of course Sub-Zero didn't get close. And now, when I try and get close... Of course, he does the fucking... 
That shit. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Fuck you, Mortal Kombat AI. Fucking hate it. Just fucking stop it! Just get out. Just please. <laughs> I've, I did about five playthroughs prior to doing this run through and look for every playthrough I died at least once okay let me emphasize at least at least once I never got through it without dying but this is really um, proving to be a bit difficult now so I'm just going to remain silent for this fight and defeat Sub-Zero here. Fight. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh man. What the fuck? Okay, at least we didn't... Ooh, I counted that. Let's try again. They always just seem to get the upper hand over me. I mean, look, you should really be looking at the bottom right hand corner of the screen to see what they're doing, but I don't know, there's just so much going on, I can't really focus on that. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. I should have played this on easy, I knew it. Why the fuck aren't the combos coming out? For fuck's sake, there's so much... Here we go. So much focus is required, you know. Every move has to be input so precise. It, it's just unacceptable. It is completely unacceptable. There is no other way to describe it. Put her there! Put her there! There we go, take a pistol whip to the face. Okay, last round. If I get rage, I should be able to do it. Breakout, good, he can't use rage now. Oh no! I didn't want that. Okay, I'm not gonna press X, because that's all they seem to... FUCK! I knew I should have pressed R1, I got a bit greedy, tried to do an extra hit. Now Sub-Zero has the upper hand. Seem to be versing all the really tough characters here. Scorpion, Sub-Zero. <laughs> it's just laughable now. Like I'm getting so destroyed here by the AI. Put her there! Put her there! That's actually a counter as well, by the way, so if they hit you while you're doing that, see, you'll zap them, which is pretty good. I, you know what, I find these close combat moments to just, I just find them annoying, like it takes, you're in the moment, you're fighting, and I just find that it slows the fights down, like I just don't want it to happen, I just want to keep focusing on the fight. It sort of ruins my momentum, you know what I mean? Throw, of course, I was blocking, so the AI knew that. Let's do this appalling fatality once again. How can you kill someone with a playing deck of cards anyway? You know what I mean? It's so stupid. It just doesn't even make sense. God damn it. These combos are going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. I should probably be using the Joker's move that builds his rage meter up and just doing that for the whole game, you know. 
Just trying to get into rage. So this move here. See how I built a bit of my rage meter? I should probably really be focusing on that. Wow. Hey, but if you can Oh my god. Alright, I gotta stop. Wow! Maybe I should hold block. And as soon as I let go, I get attacked. Okay, and I was holding block too long, and the AI registered that and grabbed me. There is nothing I can do here. The flash. The flash. Good on you, Flash man. You're a hero. Yep. Do those fast punches. Didn't want to do that. Speechless. Breathless. Soulless. Why the fuck is that move coming out after that? This move. Uh. <laughs> Jumping is really a bad thing to do against the AI in this game. I mean, all I've done this whole round is tried to jump and he has countered it in every way imaginable and because of that stupid delayed punch in the air you basically just stop dead in your tracks and you know half the time when I hit the opponent I don't even expect it okay I've got rage so yes okay good I'm only going to do the decent fatality from now on. That card one is not worth showing anymore. Fatality. This is a bad game, guys. It's a bad game. This is causing me stress playing it. I'm gaining no satisfaction even from pulling off the combos. You know, it's just not... I don't want to say it's that bad it's unplayable because it's playable you know it's got some charm the graphics are decent the characters are cool to some degree but it's just frustrating that's all I can say it's frustrating to play man there's just <laughs> there's just a lot of jumping going on <laughs> everyone's jumping no one knows what's going on <laughs> Oh, of course I jumped so the AI did a jump punch on me and if I didn't then he would have just done a regular combo I can guarantee it the Joker the Joker yep this game is a fucking joke playing a game that's a fucking joke as the Joker Nothing more even needs to be said. Goodness me! Haven't even touched him! Wow! He got a, uh, yeah, flawless victory! I'm worn out. I'm just... I'm exhausted. I'm worn out. I'm tired. I've had enough. I just hate this. I hate it. The Joker. Thank you, and for being a pain in the ass, you are going to take a gunshot to the head. Please leave now. Good. The Joker. I've had enough of you, I've had enough of this game. Fatality. Sick of it. I'm absolutely fucking sick of it. <laughs> they love their breakers, the AI. Why am I even trying to play normally? What the hell is wrong with me? I'm trying to... I'm trying to do combos and shit. Oh god, jump. Jump, no, 
God, I just can't. Yep. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's the last boss. I don't really care. Let's continue once again. As you can see, I'm continuing quite a lot here. I'm really struggling to play this game. It's, it's just so hard, you know. And whenever you fail a combo, you just feel like your morale has been shot to shit. You're just, you're sort of disappointed with yourself, you know, like you say to yourself, I should have done that combo, why didn't it work, this is Fight. fucked, and then you start hating it. You know. Okay, got him there, good. Wow, how much damage do I have to do before I get that meter going? That's atrocious. I don't know what to say anymore. Really don't. I just hate it. I want it to stop. I want this to end. It's just continuous suffering playing this game. Continuous. And that move there as well, that's fucked because this this move where you grab them and do the kicks to the face. Because what you gotta do is you gotta mash the circle button to do more kicks. You can do it a maximum of. Uh, hang on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you can do it a maximum of like six times, but it's extremely difficult to do it six times. You have to have extremely fast fingers. Like, I mean, I can't even describe how fast you have to press that circle button to get those six kicks to come out. You can practice it in practice mode. It took me a very long time, but I think the trick is, as soon as you do that move, like as soon as you press back forward circle to do it, you've just got to mash circle immediately after that. No hesitation, just start mashing it like crazy. And then it tends to work, but, you know, like all the combos in this game, it won't work all of the time, but it should work if you're committed to doing it. I just can't be bothered mashing the button that fast, you know what I mean? Just to get an extra two kicks in, or whatever, do an extra 2% damage. It's pointless. Kinda like this fucking game. Okay, watch, you'll flip me over. Yep. Oh, I got him. Wow. That's rare. Out of there. Fuck this combo. Fuck this game. Give me five. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm not laughing. That's for sure. You may be Joker, but I certainly am not laughing. Gotta keep away. See, as soon as you jump away, you just fucking. Fuck! I don't. Okay. Fuck that. You know what I'm talking about. That stupid jumping punch. It's the worst. I've had enough. This is all I'm doing. Absolutely fucking sick of this. Fuck playing normally. Can't stand it anymore. I'm still gonna hit anyway. Now please go away. Thank you. We have finally defeated Dark Khan. That's not funny at all. Turns into a pool of lava. Who gives a shit? And here's the Joker's ending. Wow. What an amazing ending. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Fucking shit. I'm just... You know, that just caused me a lot of frustration, anger, bitterness, and hate. Yes, I'm using that word, hate. 
It's a bad game, let's not lie. This is a bad fighting game. The only positives about it are the fact that it's somewhat comical. It's got Mortal Kombat characters in it and it was the prototype for future good Mortal Kombat games. But besides that, there is nothing to say about this game. Unless you're a big fan of the DC Universe characters, then you'll probably find a lot more enjoyment in this game than I do. You know, especially if you like both DC Universe and Mortal Kombat characters, then you'll probably really, really like this game. But, I mean, if we're just talking in terms of gameplay, the fighting engine itself, pulling off combos, it's fucking atrocious, okay? I don't want to have to keep repeating it over and over again because I've pretty much said it the whole time while playing through this playthrough. But it's bad, there is nothing more to say. If you want to play it, go ahead and play it. You know, but if you like the DC Universe characters, I'd probably suggest picking up Injustice Gods Among Us or better yet playing, you know, just Mortal Kombat 9 or Mortal Kombat X if you just want to play a good Mortal Kombat game. If you haven't played this game, skip it. Save yourself the frustration because it's just not worth it, you know. But anyway, thanks guys. That is my playthrough of Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.